Bing, bang, bong. Scott just does something, and we're all like, yes, copy this Scott. Is, yes, and. Yeah, exactly. Yes. And. That's usually, that's your cue to jump in. That's usually your cue to jump in. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to stop now. <laughs> totally cool. I mean, like, as a fellow improviser. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I'd be out there dying on stage, and John's like, I'm not stepping in on this one. I'm used to letting improvisers twist a <laughs> Bastards. <laughs> Can I say that on this channel? Back when I did... Um, back when I did professional improv, which I realize in saying it is just, like, it's hilarious. Awful. Yeah, it's... Yeah. Um, having... I, I used to sit off onto the side, and there was a foot pedal that was a stomper. And stomping on it would turn off the lights, which would signify the end of the scene. Right. So the improvisers themselves wouldn't typically get to say when a scene ended. It was somebody off to the side who would decide. Oh. And the reason they did that was because some people could not end a scene. Right. They would just keep it going until it died and then try to reanimate the corpse, and that wouldn't work. And it's too late to end the scene at that point. Yeah. Disaster. Thanks, Avatar. Yay. NF Files here. <gasps> Hello. Hello. We had conversations about NF File today. We did. All good nice. conversations. Gonna, yeah, good ones. You'll be getting an itemized list later. <laughs> Hello, yes. We <laughs> oh. think you are great. Also, you're pretty neat. Also, thumbs up. This is a good itemized list. It's all positive things. You know? Why do you not exist right here? Poof. You want to fly on over have a chat <laughs> chill out make you coffee i'm offering your house's coffee no, I see. obviously I see. my apologies that's okay <laughs> how far would you drive specifically drive to be on a stream i don't know probably like a like a thousand miles and then like a thousand more i don't know five they specifically were walking Oof, that's way worse <laughs> it's like obviously um to be on a stream? To be on a stream. Like any stream. Or a specific stream, I should say. Not like any old stream. I, I'm, I'm, it's not a hard cutoff, but I'd say somewhere in the region of like 300k. Like like if it was a two to three hour... Well, <laughs> at that rate, it'd be a three hour drive. Um, so you drive to Ottawa, but you wouldn't drive to Toronto. Correct. Well, I see, this here's the thing, right? If some, if There are very specific people who might be like, hey, we got a spot for you on a stream and it's in Toronto. And it's starting in six and a half hours. I wouldn't, I still wouldn't. No, that's crazy. I wouldn't do that. I think you would. I think for the right stream, you would. I wouldn't. Yeah, I probably wouldn't. <laughs> I wouldn't like jump in the car and fucking speed all the way there. That's just a recipe for disaster. Really? No, Critical Role calls you up, says like, look, we're down. Somehow we're down enough people that we're, we're and really. And we're going to be really, streaming really, it in Toronto. Yeah, we're and we're call calling it. like. Absolutely. Formerly known from. <laughs> if you can get here in the next six hours, there's a spot for you. I would, so I would get in the car and I'd be like, Liz, no time to explain. I'll call you from the road. You what? would call me the from the road. And I would be. And I would tell you it's phrase, impossible. Shitting turn my around pants. And come back. Like I would be terrified though, because it's that's a big deal. That would mm. be a big deal. Mm. And I would have just impulsively said yes and gone. But I wouldn't be prepared. They'd be like, "So what's your character?" I'm like, "What are we playing?" No, no, they're like, we'll, "We'll make sure that you're prepared, but oh, you have oh. to be here in mm -hmm. six hours." Oh, lovely. Oh, great. No, problem. I don't even know if you can get to Toronto in six hours. Oh, not with that you attitude. Can. No, well, you'd have to stop car. to charge the car. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that's it's fair. impossible. You just have to break more laws. It's an, I actually, I think it's possible for really you to get there, cable. assuming that you had no delays. I think that you could get to a place where you'd be able to charge for mm. just long enough to you get you to Toronto. Yeah. That's probably true. I haven't mathed that out. But yeah, I'd be you'd probably be know. like, hi, Liz, I'm calling you. Please search for the the most efficient quick charge stations along my route. I would actually be oh, furious if you just left and didn't take me with you. Yo, that like. too. <laughs> at least let me sit in the wings. Yeah. No, Matt Mercer's like, leave the girl at home. <laughs> no, I just can't have anything else in the car. <sighs> just like, oh, yeah, ma minimum weight. Exactly, no mass in the car. I've dumped all the stuff out. I've ripped the back seats out. There's nothing in there anymore. <laughs> So you walk out of your house and just like half of your car is on the driveway. Uh, well, well, it must be Friday. I assume another tree had come down or something. Oh, just geez, like Louise, cut yeah. it in half. We harvested a ripe tomato today. Ooh, 
how big was it? And tomato. Like a DSP. So an actual like. Yeah, tomato. and okay. it was genuinely ripe. Because I've seen some people be like, "Look at my tomatoes," and they're like mostly green, and I'm like, "Ah, uh, not no. fully orange." That's fine. Yes, that's fine. Which counts. Yeah. You could fry those. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fried green tomatoes. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But I mean, it's Ooh. just people be like, I think they're just like, "Oh, I have, I have done this. I want to harvest it." There is definitely that urge. Yeah. Like as soon as you see that something's growing, you're like, eh, it's like peppers. Yep. Yeah. You're like, oh, I'll take the green pepper, oh. and you're like, oh, but if you wait. But if you wait. Although I was reading yesterday that you Sorry. should oh. harvest about fifty percent of the peppers on your pepper plant Ooh. at the green stage, um, because it encourages the plant to produce more. Mm-hmm. So if if you will eat green peppers, then you should harvest about half at that stage and then uh you don't want to know how many peppers i'll eat i'll eat all the peppers all of them Groover mentioned oh, i can I have an electric pepper. car i'm sorry eat all the we peppers. actually did this calculation pepper today. john made some stupid joke about driving, driving to mexico yeah. like within and 24 hours blueberries. <laughs> and <Three> blueberries. <laughs> if we drove at our car's maximum speed our car's maximum speed maximum. which is 185 kilometers maximum. an hour okay. for 20 hours we would get to the mexican border I which gives us four hours for gas right <laughs> probably wouldn't do that no. though is all probably a sandwich a-okay or a mm. salad yeah we have some nice fresh broat bread a a delightful poison concoction Ooh. Yep. Ooh. Oh my <gasps> flippy, oh my flippy floppy, floppy, floppy days. days! It's Cheeky C! Thank you, Lemonade. Thank you. Yay. Wow. It's a real party. Four absolute babes. Yeah, um, let's see. We can see totes. And then you three. Aw. No, you could you're allowed to be a babe. If you want to. Nope. Okay. Don't even don't Emma. identify that way. <laughs> That's cool. Ebab. Bad, 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 bad. Oh. By law, it takes four hours, 15 minutes from our old home, home to North Home. Your little brother did it in two hours, 35. To be I fair, yoink. night finished traffic, 120 kilometers per hour average. Yeah, yeah, you can. I mean, some highways are uh, can be taken quite quickly if you're in the right mind space and there's no one there, you know? I know of one person who I will not name, but I, have no, I, I know of one person who we all know who probably at one point could have done that. Okay. Yeah, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. we know who it is. Something mm-hmm. is clocked. <laughs> um, KFF, good on ya. I mean, you've gotta pick the Inca if they're gonna be in the game, because otherwise if they end up right next to you, they end up beating you up in like the first 20 turns, and then you lose. That sucks. Hi. 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 Welcome back. I might be a little loopy. Uh, I got home uh, after 5 a.m. Uh, I did get a decent amount of sleep, but I uh, apologize if I seem strange this mm-hmm. session. Nah, it's going to be all part of the plan. As I've thumbs learned up, from Don't up. Nod, life is strange. Oh, nice. Nice. Um, it's been a little, it's, it, it's been a while. It's been a while. Yeah, there you go. Yep. I, I briefly forgot that we didn't play last week. Since I or the week before that, played a bug in me. The last time we played it was July 10th. Oh, you've got it eaten everything. Yeah. Now it's July 31st, so that's like most of the month. That Yarp. would be three weeks. Whoa. Whoa. Uh, we didn't play because we had other obligations. Mm-hmm. You weren't the only one. Yeah, I guess you had a cray cray uh, film night. night. Mm hmm. Did that fall into that time? It was yes. a Saturday oh, night, yeah. and you, you also got home at like 7 a.m. or something stupid. Yeah, I yeah. think I got home at like, uh, I like signed out at 6.30 maybe and got Sounds back here right. at 7. I'm feeling great. <laughs> this guy. I'm, fine. I'm also drinking uh, tea. Real great. Cinnamon Hot. Hearts. Cinnamon. No. Very good. <laughs> yeah, I should have been. This is Cinnamon Hearts tea, which, for the record, I never liked Cinnamon Hearts. Ever, ever, ever. I don't like sour candies. I don't like cinnamon hearts. This is delicious. Because it's a lie, and I was very disappointed. So it is a lie. To take I'm really sorry. Because it's, it's like it's apple totally a tea lie. with a hint of cinnamon. It does not taste like cinnamon hearts at all. It's quite sweet. No, if yeah. you want something that tastes like cinnamon hearts, you got to get some fucking fireball in here. Yeah, Woo! truth. Yes. Oh, yeah. I I remember drinking fireball it's been a while. at a bachelor party <laughs> and being like, this is pretty tasty. 
And then, and then I he only... belched fire. <laughs> no, I only had the one because that was all I wanted Good to on drink. You. I think you were the only one. Fire travels to your ball. Uh, there were a lot of people who were drinking that day. Yeah, <laughs> people started saying like, ha ha, fireball, that's not a real drink. And I'm like, I don't know. I, I'm seeing a lot of people get pretty fucked up. What does that this? mean? Hey, not you like look at the alcohol thing. content. That's what tells you whether yeah. it's a real drink or not. And also if it's liquid and you're safely able to consume it then it's a real drink. I think that there are just some people out there who are conditioned to believe that if a drink tastes good, then yeah. it's not actually like... <laughs> yeah, you have to suffer for your booze. I suffer enough. Like, I, yeah. I just want yeah, to yeah, enjoy yeah. my life. I yeah, just want my chocolate drink. choo-choo and yeah. drinks. Yeah. He's girl drink drunk. <laughs> I'm glad you recognize I, It's that. been a long time since I've seen that sketch, though. I should Have probably... you seen any of the new stuff? No, I should. I, I don't want oh, to watch good. it, but yeah. Apparently there is... A lot of penis, like, like more than you might expect. <laughs> Wiener. Which I don't. Wiener. It's okay. Wiener. As I've previously said, Mark McKinney has touched my butt. I do. Wiener. We have talked about this. It's true. Ay yo yo. I like to think Kung Fu Fenris has like a, a tub of ethanol with like cinnamon hearts in it. It's just constantly like stirring it. It's like Skittles vodka. <laughs> yeah, like. I don't actually know. I mean, that's not correct, but like, yeah. I would hope. Like, I like work. cinnamon hearts. Sure, yeah. Okay. It's okay if you don't. Yeah. It's thanks. great if you love thanks. that tea. People often read me for not liking certain kinds of things, so I appreciate that. Thank you. I've had that experience. Hmm. Hello. Hi. I, I said people. You like Liz? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like, people. No, Liz is weird. <laughs> no, it's, I, you were shocked when I mentioned sour candies that one time. Yeah, yeah that well, was I just, shocking, I, I remember. Yeah. But I think it's just because I love sour candy so much. So to yes. hear that, that like, I think we had a choice between Sour Patch Kids and Swedish Berries. Yeah. And you were like, oh my God, Swedish Berries, hands down. And I was like, The what? most neutral of candies. Yeah. So I was like, give me those. I was genuinely surprised. Or as they're called in Quebec, Les Bay Finlandais. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, get it together. It's like a different country. <laughs> oh, it's wild. Anyway. Yep. Sorry, different, different thing. But now I can like always tell if I have a sip of lemonade, I'm like, oh, it's got have some you're gonna like this or scott i know you're gonna hate this don't drink this yeah <laughs> like i can tell what your like sour threshold is now which is so strange it's what time will do to you yeah it sours you if you're watching this on youtube or perhaps listening to us on anchor or wherever you your, wherever you get your, your podcasts nailed it. there you go that's the one uh casper oh. mattress is oh <laughs> watching us on spotify because that's a thing oh now. yeah oh, oh hello i don't know hi uh You'll recall that our previous session was cut short. Mm. Uh, the first red card pulled on a stream was last session. Mm -hmm. Yes, I didn't feel safe to continue, and it had nothing to do with the role-playing. It had everything to do with pain. Mm -hmm. I don't feel that pain right now. I, don't th I haven't really felt it in three weeks, so I think we're good to go. Excellent. Uh, <laughs> that's great. But that's... Uh, that... We are continuing that session. We, this is not considered a new session, albeit the players did receive full experience. So I am going to ask if you want to spend experience. <coughs> do you want to send any experience? We're doing the thing. Doing the thing. <gasps> Trois, deux, un. On y va. Nope. I am going to be saved up at the end of this session, and I'm very excited. GC, honestly, I, I really appreciate it. It was, uh, it sucked, but it, it's over now, mm. and it should be all right. So, what'd you buy? Thanks for the follow as well. I bought Dragon's Ire Three. Oh, Dragon Scales, uh, which I believe, uh, it's not that it, it it like gives me temporary armor. I think that lasts according to how many successes. I think it increases the difficulty of damage rolls. Against yeah, I you. think that's what it is. Sorry to just because I had it. In no, 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 no. You're right. <laughs> All yeah, damage yeah. rolls against a subject protected by this cantrip raise their difficulty by two, and this lasts for one round per success. Which is pretty good. Wild. Yeah. It I is really chimerical. I can't remember why so I didn't use this really good. It's Bad news. Yeah. I should have used it more. Yeah, I'm pretty stoked. <laughs> Kate, I bought leadership too. I only have That's leadership one. Right. I remember one reason. I why. had arrows drawn next to it, so that's what I decided to buy it. Like, <laughs> oh my gosh, I, past me did a favor to future me by taking note of what I wanted to buy up, so that when you said, "Do you want to spend experience?" I was like, "Yeah." Yes, I do. <laughs> <sighs> mm -hmm. 
Have you leveled up your game, so to speak? Like, you can't spend experience in the same way, I know, but have you, do you feel like, <sighs> just some casual banter, John, it's really going bad. <laughs> If you like oh God. put in effort, John. <laughs> That's not what I. Oh no! I know, I know, no, I know. it's going so poorly. I like the idea that while we can buy like abilities and attributes and arts and stuff, John can just buy new pieces of furniture like he's in The Sims, <laughs> like for the different freeholds. So we come in and there's like some kind yeah, of there's, there's like a statue that looks like him <laughs> that he's like you spent five thousand ST That's points so on this. There's a fountain. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow! I like it. Yeah, apparently my character's dead now. Oh boy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that's that's right. The shocking music on The Sims was the so Sims good. Got, the Sims got a, a big update recently where they made it so that now you can select characters' uh, genders oh. uh, and pronouns, which is a big deal. Mm -hmm. uh, however, it introduced two bugs. Oh. oh. You know these bugs? I haven't heard. No, of No, but I I I loved watching Twitter troll some of the new things that came out so but I so one of the new bugs is the fact that now sometimes uh families desire relationships in the same family oh no oh, oh yeah i saw have, like, someone mention that wanting their sons oh no, no. no yeah so that was oh. bad and okay. also there was a part where some sims would just rapidly age and die <laughs> Oh my I mean, God. that's awesome, actually. That's pretty fantastic. Just like, oh! <laughs> it's just the stress that comes from being certain, you know, types of person in certain parts of the world. Yep. You know, it just ages you. Instantaneously 85. <laughs> like, what? Yeah. And then your toes roll up like the Wicked Witch. Yeah, <laughs> that was always such a good... Yeah, oh, yeah. I did run an Exalted 2nd Edition campaign with Scott in it. Hey! Uh, poop. That's a poop. Thank poop. you, poop. poop. Thank you. I was I, I ran second edition with two people sitting at this table. That's right. Multiple times. Yep. More than once. Sivere. Ballad of Kieran. <laughs> I don't remember that guy at all. I probably could have. He done. threw things, missed, and then disappeared into the it shadows. Was so That's what he did. Bad. Basically my life, really. Shut <laughs> but Yeah. <laughs> Shit fuck that. <laughs> Teach me not to put enough points into a fucking combat ability. That's, that's what that taught me. Yeah, but at least at least no matter what after you threw whatever you threw mm -hmm. you'd stay safe because you kind of melted into the shadows right we don't have the ability to melt into the shadows but we stay safe another way we do we stay safe using these i think it was this last time so i'm gonna jump on it oh get in there yeah so these are our safety cards you folks don't have cards but you do have options we'll get to those in a moment um we have the green card also known as the play card it means that Despite any outward appearance, I am enthusiastically consenting to what's going on. Uh, just role playing, I'm good to continue. Yellow, also known as pause, means I need to briefly pause gameplay in order to inform folks of what's uh, something. I need to inform folks of something before I feel safe to continue playing, but once I put the card down, we're good to go. The red card, also known as stop, will interrupt gameplay. Here on this channel, that will usually mean we go to a BRB screen, or as in our last session's case, we may end stream immediately. Um, it is a signal that I am not currently okay to continue playing game. Uh, and if it is a interruption of BRB screen, we will not continue until everyone at the table feels safe to resume. Mm -hmm. You don't have cards, but you do have some options out there. At the moment, you have um, at least two moderators in chat, so you can whisper any moderator who is in chat right now. That is Kung Fu Fenris and the Crosshair. Uh, you can also whisper RPG Clinic. That will go to us. Um, if there's something that we can quickly deal with, if we are unable to handle it in the moment, or if you are not in a situation where you feel comfortable staying. You can, of course, leave. We don't want to see you go, but we would rather that you prioritize your well-being over staying for our sake. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Safety. It's important. We actually have some proofs coming in. <gasps> yes. Potentially this week, possibly <coughs> next week. Yeah. Depends on shipping, which is always a big ass question mark. Mm. Uh, but we have some proofs for the safety cards that we've designed, like the specific ones. Mm -hmm. Coming in, very cool. I painted uh, with with some of mine in my pocket. They were in my overall Ooh, pocket. Ooh, you've really been testing them. 
they just happened to, to live in my overalls during a very busy period for my there overalls. <laughs> Perfect. I found one of mine under the couch. <laughs> yes, he did. Yes, poof. Yes. He did. Together. He did. Shipping is always an important thing, at least on this channel. Mm-hmm. No, you're very right. Oh, what's, very good, yeah. What's wrong, Kung Fu Fenris? Like a, Shit, wait, like a proof for... Um, like yeah i'm not quite sure he'll oh. i'm sure he'll follow up <laughs> in a second um but yeah we're we're having like uh cards card tests yeah exactly proof of concepts mm -hmm. printing proofs etc that was evidence oh shit. Uh, That's fair. we've got proof coming in <laughs> objection yeah, we could call them prototypes if we wish yes such a I just love that word. Real word. And I wish that word was used every prototype. day. <laughs> it just sounds so badass. Prototype. Speaking of prototypes, why don't you prototype me up a sandwich? I what? Why don't I prototype you why up you, a... Why don't you tell me what, what happened last session and <laughs> get back to me not embarrassing myself? We will do. Sure, we were at the Freehold. Uh, we were back at uh, Frostleaf, mm -hmm. aka Jan's, um, and we had a new friend um, who's a pisky <laughs> called Konaz, Konaz um, in our custody who we were asking some questions. Mm -hmm. Did you want to jump in? Sorry. Sure. Again. Um, yeah, so he informed us that he's been working for an unsealy duke who wants to corner the market on dreamers. Um, and he sends his goons out uh, with devices to manipulate the way mortals feel. And Konaz would have, was a part of this. Ooh. Yeah, Konaz <laughs> t told us, or told the motley, or t told the motley, good lord, told us. <laughs> that uh, he was indebted to this duke because of a, a high-stakes poker game that was played. The details on this are, as of yet, limited, but we know that he was apparently taken away uh, in front of another freehold in the city of Ottawa, Lut. So the plan is to head there. However... <laughs> I love how you had... I'm so sorry. I left so much for you to do. Uh, no, 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 it's perfect. <laughs> However, Lady Genui uh, popped in dressed in, well, dressed rather unusually in a dress with many belts, gloves, heels, something we wouldn't normally associate with her. So there is perhaps some questions about that as well that need answering. Good thing none of us have the curiosity flaw, am I right? I have to speak to the <laughs> ST privately. <laughs> Just for a few moments. Oh, it's okay. They're not listening. What's going on? Oh, okay. Uh, you've muted us then. Is that yeah. what's happening? No, oh, cool. We're muted. Well, I, so I have the curiosity flaw, so I think well, I'm going to... You gonna, do? Yeah, I think I'm going to have to play this so that um, I have to, I'm going to have to go after Lady Genwi. Well, that's going to... Okay, that'll be an interesting moment. Yeah. Do you think uh, it could be kind of fun if I like got caught with my hand, like maybe one of my piece of clothing comes off in a, in a funny way and I can be kind of half naked or what we can, can have we a can malfunctioning wrap up vacuum cleaner okay but <laughs> I like that you can just accidentally spill hot oil all over yourself oh no <laughs> oil <laughs> I do have a big x through the duke stuff saying never mind lie but then I do have an extra line that's not been crossed out by past Liz that says he wants to corner the market on dreamers. So I think that was past Liz's way of saying it's still possible. There's big questions as to <laughs> the, 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 the legitimacy of any of his claims. Yeah. That's why we are going to physically, our, our tentative plan was to literally physically investigate the situation, mm -hmm. to prove or disprove, because mm -hmm. it's hard to prove a negative. Physically yeah, remove his spleen. Gather by proof. His teeth. Yeah. Ugh. Fire. <laughs> I don't have a knife. Can I just keep punching him? Will the spleen eventually come Woof. out? That is the worst. Oh I'll start God. chewing from the other side. Oh, oh that's God, not more no. effective. <laughs> oh, no, a sandwich I don't want. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're not into that. <laughs> The, it's the, the punch munch sandwich. The dead mickle. Oh punch my god. Yes. It's a BDM. Oh yes, also there's contract. Pew. Yar. Now we basically made the contract, if I remember correctly. And you yeah. I have written nothing down, unfortunately. I so. have, but you can. No, you go I ahead. Say, yeah, the oath, well, and the oath. The contract was that he wouldn't leave for twenty-four hours. This is Kona's. He wouldn't act against our interests, and we wouldn't hurt him. That was at least the the planned kind of yeah. contract. We we basically, if I remember correctly, we fudged it a little bit, 
and that the overall idea, the overall intent is there. We mm-hmm. didn't come up with the exact wording because yeah. it just was... Uh, that was close to the point where I was like, I can't I don't want to do this, this anymore. Yeah. yeah, and I had no spoons for contract negotiations. <laughs> <laughs> so, correctly that day. so we do have that just to, mm-hmm. to keep in mind that basically you have the reassurance that for 24 hours he'll be a model prisoner as long as you don't abuse him. I don't know if I ended up actually rolling for that. Would you like me to do no, that? No, we'll just okay. say that it happened. Uh, that's called a red card special and you just... I just cashed in? You just cashed in. Nice. <laughs> we'll throw a red card every game. <laughs> Oh Wait. no. <laughs> Those are all the cards. Yeet! Yeah. Oh my <laughs> God. Just throw them. Now I just want to take a red card and like file it down so that it's sharp on one huh? end. And so that I can be like, and then just like slice somebody <gasps> across the neck and I'll be like, I feel safe. <laughs> and then walk away. And then explosions. I definitely a pull a card to you throw, uh, injuring someone with a card. Yeah. That's not, probably not the green one. Probably. <laughs> I'm having a great time. We you murdered someone. Time. Yeah. No. <laughs> no. Any questions before we start? I think it's clear as mud. So no, no, no questions. No questions. It's, mud is not clear. No, I know. That's the joke. So you lied to me. <laughs> <laughs> what else is new? You lied to me? No, no. I No, I have no questions. Your Honor. Not a, I'm not honorable. <laughs> <laughs> honorable Jonathan. Honor is a lie. Nice. Why do we follow Mr. Wayne? Oh, so that we can get back up. They burned the forest down. <laughs> My God. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> big fan. Red cards are not a a sign that uh, everything can't be fixed. They're a sign that there's a willingness to fix the problem. And in this case, the problem that needed to be fixed was literally just time. We needed time, time for me to recover. And then we, later on, all this had nothing to do with red card, time to make sure that everybody got their stuff together, stuff in order, get their real life passed through. And we're back here. Don't forget that the cards are there for us. And honestly, it felt kind of good to be able to pick a card up and say like, okay, well, you know, there's no argument here. I don't want to keep playing right now. And it was just accepted. But we still get back up. Mostly because apparently we're vigilantes and we have to, you know, destroy people who rampage through a forest looking for diamonds. What? (laughs) It was a weird analogy, yeah. That film's very old now. Yes, it is. It's kind of disturbing how old huh. it is. <laughs> but here you are. Now, we are coming back in media res. As a result, if there's anything that kind of contradicts what happened before and you remember, just gently bring it up. It'll help us get back in because obviously it's been three weeks since we played the last one and we most likely did not watch the entire session over again, which uh, other people in chat may have, uh, but we did not. So this also goes for you, chat. If you notice something that contradicts what happened last session and we haven't noticed, please just gently let us know. We'll, well, we might not ignore you. (laughs) We probably won't ignore you, but either way. Uh, I believe that all three of you had decided uh, I'm not sure if it was a group decision or whether it was independently for all of you to, I don't play with assholes, it's mm-hmm. true, uh, to go and talk to Genway. Mm-hmm. Yeah, well, certainly Burble's, into, thank you, Burble's intention was t- to go and find out why Gen- what, what Genway was doing that she was dressed this way. And I think maybe he was trying to be a little sneaky about it but these two were definitely going to come along well if i remember correctly while we were interrogating konaz um she came in and was mm-hmm. basically like oh you don't want to see what an unseelie looks like if you cross them yeah, or yeah, yeah. whatever so so she was like putting on airs for him as mm-hmm. well like for his benefit to scare him a little extra oh yeah um, didn't she like tell him to go to that he, like there was a confirmation that he was our prisoner and 
that um, Bo was going to guard him or something? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Bo picked him up and took him to uh, a room. <laughs> yeah, basically hauled him over his shoulder. Mm-hmm. So the, the three of you are still in the crease, although now there's no one there. Mm-hmm. Uh, who has... Burble. Yeah. Currently has uh, a slightly heavier phone than the others. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to acknowledge it. Maybe take the phone out of my pocket and just kind of give Score a little scritch under the chin, depending on how Score is doing, of course. Well, all right. Should we... I just want to make sure that if the the Lady Jen we... <laughs> I just want to make sure if Lady Jen we needs anything that, you know, we can make sure she has everything she needs. Of course. After you. Well, all right. Um, uh, well, I'll be right back then. You can. You don't have to come with me. I, I'm I'll going be, with you. Why, why? Because I would also like to make sure that everything's under control before we go. Oh, it's under control. I, I, I'm very good at keeping things. Why do you want to go by yourself? I'm not going by myself. I have I'm score. hungry. <laughs> I'm gonna go over to where the food is and like start opening pantries, pulling out snacks. Laying them up on the counter. Oh, oh. A lot of granola. No, Mick. Oh, God. Mickle's going to have. Go squeeze. Yeah, I'm going to uh, go to the snacks. Sweet. <laughs> Good. Make a break for it. Oh, my so, little legs. So, what we've learned is, uh, which incidentally, we haven't been doing this campaign. I forgot to ask you what you've learned in sessions. Oh, yeah. So, that'll come back. Mm. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, so I'll say what I've learned today. I've learned that apparently if we just don't want people to show up, we just have to have food and yeet it in another direction. Well, I don't remember why Det wanted to go. So I was like, Det doesn't give a fuck. And yeah. if Burble really wants to be alone, I'm going to have Det offer Mickle and out. Mickle thought Genwi's intimidation tactics were really hot. And she yeah. wanted to talk to her again. Nice. There. But food. And food won in this case. Mm. So that's... Um, I never want to keep people away from too late. conversations. It's too late. You did. You did this. I'm going to take off fault. down the hall. There's somewhere somewhere on this level of the freehold. I have it here. Uh, there's a private office of Genwi's. Uh I'm just going to make my way along to it and just see if Genwi is in the middle of a meeting. I'm going to listen to make sure that I'm not interrupting a meeting. Uh, no, you can't hear anything. I mean, you are a boggin. Eavesdropping is kind of in your... <laughs> Uh, now, now that's now that's a word I wasn't using, John. <laughs> However, you challenge me on that one. Tell me that that's wrong. No, I'm gonna save my challenge for later. <laughs> yeah, um, what? Just a, a polite little knock on the door, and I'll poke my head around. Uh, Lady Genwi, come in. Oh, uh, thanks. Inside Genwi's office, uh, there is a. Just a, a a floating slab that's just suspended, seemingly in midair, uh, above her. It's uh, it's got like a very kind of deep sort of you know like the ga- galaxy finish on a cake. Oh yeah, yes. It looks like that, almost as if you could stare into it if you wanted to. The walls that surround her are of various different uh, photos from sporting events that she has either participated in herself or people who she has worked with have participated in. Um, There are no trophies in here. There's no medals, just photos. And the photos are all real. They're not like chimerical photos. They're not uh, magic box photos. Okay. They're just real photos. Mm -hmm. Um, Each of them has been framed meticulously and placed up. There's a... um, very very kind of like big cushiony chairs but also off to one side you see that there are two rollers um i don't know if you're aware of this they're used to recover after uh long runs or athletics just basically they you lie down on them yeah they give you pressure like a foam like yeah like a foam foam roller but they're i get okay yeah cool they're longer okay Uh, so she has a couple of those there there's Mm. also a um a yoga ball and uh, a yoga mat that's kind of been rolled up and laid alongside there. And there's a, a couple of drawers in a chest of drawers that's there in a closet. 
although the closet is closed it's got sort of like you know like the thatched yeah door Door. Uh, she's still sitting there in her uh, in her outfit with the pointy shoulders and the belts and the uh, the darkness can I, can I clarify as well, just to go all the way back to the first thing you said? This slab is floating like above her head. No, it's okay. Floating it's like, like a like a desk at table height. Okay, yeah, <laughs> that's what I figured. And then anyway, okay, cool. Uh, do you want to have a seat? Y- yes, uh, uh, if you don't mind, of course. Hop, and I hop into a little chair. So you hop into the chair. The chair is so like. Mm giving oh it, it just sort of like <laughs> oh, oh. You a bit more. <laughs> yeah so it's kind of hard to sit up straight it's mm. kind of hard to like look proper it's really more like a beanbag chair but it's very luxurious i'm gonna do my best. The finest pleather <laughs> oh i'm gonna do my <laughs> finest i'm gonna do my best to maintain some sort of decorum but like i know i have the etiquette to know that uh lady Genwi doesn't really stand on ceremony so it doesn't make it not for that it's no. not a big deal just wanted to make sure that uh, you had everything you need um, for the meeting that you must have coming up. We're going to be going off to loot very soon. I have a meeting? Well, I... Oh, I, fi- I figured you were... Oh, am I interrogating the prisoner? Oh. Well... Is that the meeting that I have? No, I, unless you were planning on interrogating the prisoner. I... <laughs> if it was necessary. Well, we got a story out of him. We're just trying to confirm if it's true. He would theoretically have no reason to lie, unless he had a reason to lie. He has every reason to lie. I have been incensed by his behavior. Oh. We were going to have some very interesting events coming up, and they can't happen anymore. And that's his fault. In fact, the entire reason that we are interrogating him is because of the failure for the city to protect its athletes and spectators. I I don't like this, Burble. I don't like it at all. No. No, I, n- neither do we. Neither do I. I. I don't know if it's 100% his fault. He's not acting alone, or at least that's his story. He's indebted, you see. I don't like being lied to. No. Of course not. And if he's lying, I'm going to be pretty disappointed. Um... Did you choose the outfit for the interrogation then, or was it just a happy coincidence? Do you not like it? No, it's not about that. Uh, I, I, that's no, that wasn't my. I didn't mean that. I just meant it was unusual. It was unusual. I figured you had a meeting with um, the countess or something. <laughs> Lady Serena. Yeah. She's a baroness. Baroness, sorry. I'm gonna assume that you said that correctly. Yes. I'll just make a note of that. Thank you, yes, because it's the baronetcy of Widow's Bell here, right? I think? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Just making some assumptions. (laughs) Maybe I should stop doing that. (laughs) Well, I'm... I'm just me. I crystallized in this outfit. Oh. It must hold a very special place in your heart, then. It comes with the title, I guess. <laughs> you have to put on a certain image. Yeah. When you're doing the nobility thing. Right. Being in charge. And <laughs> it, it seems to be almost a game that we all play. Some of us better than others. If you walk into the room and you're not wearing the right thing, then you've already lost. Do you ever get that impression? I hate it. Sometimes it feels as if I never had a chance, even before I arrived. I don't think that's fair. Why not? Well, the way that the system is for us Of course, there's hierarchies, power, authority of some over others, and there's going to be conflicts around that, perhaps. But shouldn't everyone be given a a fair chance to to be able to live their lives, to be able to show their best sides? If there are strange rules that you don't even know, how can you possibly how can you possibly compete? That's why. 
it's so strange you're arguing both sides. I don't, I don't think I am. Honor is a lie, Erbil. The idea that the world is fair is incorrect. And at the same time, sometimes it feels as if those who are honorable create the rules so that they can remain honorable and everyone else is not. It's one interpretation of it. I would agree. I simply think that that's why I like Yans, Care Frostleaf, so much. I may not be the sporty type, but there's something very exciting about the world of athletics. It's a showcase of pure skill. Even if those skills aren't how fast you run or, or how hard you, you kick a ball. Pure those, skill. Those skills can be teamwork. Look at what happened to debt. Mm, today, yes, it was still today. So, yeah. mm-hmm. You brought big, the new day, yeah. from the mm-hmm. game. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Do you think debt lost today because of pure skill? No, no. There's always luck. Of course. Was, what if one of my trucks falls off? What if I didn't get a good breakfast that morning? Or maybe I just started my period. Any number of these things can happen. And that's, but that's what's so exciting is that professional athletes are the kinds of people who have to be able to compete at the top of their game every day, regardless of the circumstances. When I perform an experiment, I need to control for as many variables as possible. So do they. I know it's impossible, but you have to try. And that's why I have this outfit. What are you controlling for? That I'm not a very good knight. Nice. Mickle. Mm-hmm. Snacks. Amazing. Amazing. There are many. <laughs> <laughs> they are plentiful. I am eating them. <laughs> nom, 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 nom. <laughs> but as you're eating them, uh, and I assume Dead is with you, although she is... Step down for a second. Uh, as you're eating them, the door to the crease opens up, and Crow just shuffles in for a second and takes a look at the snacks and just sort of doesn't. Now, one thing I will point out is that you can't build muscle mass unless you're actually actively consuming calories. Uh, you've never seen Crow eat, ever. What do you eat? What? What do you eat? I'm eating, like, for me, uh, a tall sandwich that has peanut butter, banana, peanut butter, banana, peanut butter, banana, that I've smooshed. That's wild. Now, okay, so I, I, peanut I, I butter on ask, bananas? This is very, very important. That's when wild. When Mikkel makes one of these massive peanut butter and banana sandwiches, does she make sure that when she smushes it, that it doesn't like all just eject out the sides or does she make it so like she puts the peanut butter and then edge to edge <laughs> so that then when she smushes it it all just kind of leaks out like so it does leak out and then she takes what's leaked out yeah. spreads it on the top and puts <laughs> another piece of bread on top so it's a smoosh tower if you will yeah, it's smoosh tower oh, right. we have our new ship name game. everybody or as the crosshairs put it an octago decker pbb sandwich pbb yes and uh because i know because now we're talking about this the way that she cuts the bananas <laughs> so that she can spread the peanut butter on top of the bananas without like getting it all stuck and everything she actually cuts them Lengthways, lengthwise like a psychopath yeah. this is wild slices them I've never heard of so it. that they can be laid down like this so that it's easier to spread the peanut butter on top because you can't just spread them on the little it's true, you can, banana totally. discs yeah so i actually cute. have no trouble with with this i've no, never no, done I that just and never just came this. up with it that just, right it now it will make the texture uh-huh. of the man is strange yeah that's I, anyway sorry i I said psychopath, and I didn't mean you, and I didn't mean you. Can definitely that. attribute that to my red cap. It's okay. Yeah, I will attribute <laughs> it to your red cap. I will. <laughs> oh no! Sorry. What do you eat? Mostly salads. Where's your protein? Mostly salads. <laughs> you can put fucking protein in a salad. Where's your protein in your salad? Beans, chickpeas, chicken, tofu, seitan, tempeh. <laughs> She starts, she continues rattling. Just keeps going. Uh, he just looks more and more horrified as, as it goes on. <laughs> mm. A little honey on the peanut butter, every mm. layer. Just the smooshed layer. 
just this. So it's a soup song of sweet and then go. Uh, uh, sticky on time. <laughs> great. I don't under. You can't. What the hell is wrong with you? <laughs> I'm just not that hungry. But you're pumping iron down there. Yeah, and? You're never going to get any better without the proper nutri- Oh my god. Um, so first we need to identify what proteins you will eat. I don't care if you like it or not. Everything you have is too fresh. So you want like an old can of beans? <laughs> Would you eat an old can of beans? What's the difference between an old can and a new can? They're canned. You open the can and put it somewhere rank. I don't need it to be rank. I just don't need it to be fresh. Tempeh's fermented, you little fuck. <laughs> Tempeh's fermented. You love that shit. I'm not a little fuck. <laughs> fight, fight, fight. <laughs> God. What the fuck? It's settled. What happened to the prisoner? Uh, uh, Bo took him to a room. There's a moment where he's like, his eyes are as wide as dinner saucers. What? After you say Bo took him. What, 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 what? Where did they go? To a room where he's going to stay for a day. I made a contract and I show it. And it's like on a Scrawl, on a probably, napkin. Like, oh, staying in a room with him for a day. Oh, he's guarding it outside with a bat or something. Bo's not a guard. I'd better go and see if I can help. Not without protein. You're not. Um. What? No, this is important. Why are Why are you flipping your lid? He what am I talking. About? He I don't has. Know. He turns around. He He fully is just like headed towards where don't you walk away from me freezes he just rotates his head you hello he promised he won't act out or try to escape so he is not going to do anything if you're worried about Bo which is fair because he's an idiot but you don't have to worry protected. So I just have to worry about protein. Yeah. I'm going to make you a nutrition plan. And you will follow it. Uh, uh, he looks at debt as kind of like a... So what you've missed is mm -hmm. uh, Mikkel bullying Crow because he apparently only eats salads and has not identified what protein he could possibly eat, which means his, uh, his bodybuilding mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. is has a severe challenge to overcome. Okay. But he's now looking at you as kind of like a help me. He's trying to escape because he's upset to hear that Bo is guarding the prisoner. This is Liz filling you in, not Michael. Okay. <laughs> what is he asking me to help him with? The food situation? Y yeah, Michael great. basically being like, um, I'm making you a nutrition plan and you're going great. to follow it. Yikes. Don't boil, walk away from me. Hard boil some eggs and eat some tofu. Ew. You smell like sulfur. Tofu doesn't. Tofu doesn't smell like anything. There you go. Exactly. You make it taste like anything. Ew. Okay, I mean, I could tell you to, like, chew a steak, but you don't have teeth, so I'm not going to be an asshole. Why would I want steak? Oh, my God. I'm going to bite him. <laughs> I mean, you can. I'd probably just bend. Who would There's like no meat on these bones. Yeah, <laughs> right. Uh, be a lot more appetizing with protein. Um, so you're trying to fatten me up? <laughs> no, I'm trying to make you stronger. You're trying to fatten me up. That's the <laughs> yes. I don't want to be fattened up. I don't. I'm not. I won't. I won't eat you if you eat protein. I don't know. Uh, no. So if I just, eat protein, you will eat me. No, I won't eat you if you eat protein. So if I don't eat protein, you will eat me. The possibility is there. <clears throat> You're such a kind friend. 
There are nights where as I lay awake and I realize that the darkness beyond my ceiling holds no answers. The stars shine their light, but it is only just a brief pinprick, not a true understanding. And I wonder about those who accompany me on this sphere that's hurtling through nothing. It is good to have you by my side. It will always be good to have you by my side. I open a can of beer. <laughs> so I'm going to bring in an assortment of protein options tomorrow, and you are going to rank them. And we are going to make a plan. Cricket powder is also good. If it is the price that I pay in order to make sure that you do not wander alone, I will do this for you. I've also got do a giant me. tub of whey powder. <laughs> Scoop. Shake. Shaking it into like a smoothie or yeah. something? You have a magic bullet? No. It's a sh uh, shaker ball. What is that? Protein powder? So he takes it. It's just straight up protein powder? With some water. Okay, have you ever had just straight up protein powder, yes. any of you? Uh, describe its taste. Well, it depends on its flavor. It Maybe has it's quay based. It is it's quay based and it may not have any flavor. It might, it. It, I guess it's vanilla. I feel like that's the uh, most common I'm shit. I'm used to the vanilla flavor. And the, the vanilla flavor that they put in protein power, powder is so overpowering. Like, it's just incredibly sweet. I would describe it as almost the same texture as a watery milkshake but the flavor of it is disappointing it's like <laughs> yeah like if you think of cookies and cream those like chocolate bar chocolate bars but like you take away the cookie part so it's just the cream it's like somewhere in that vicinity mm. and how about its texture uh, it depends how well it's mixed, but sometimes it's a little clumpy. Sometimes there are chunks. Yeah. yeah. There's sometimes definitely it's chalky there's and definitely it's so clumpy. Like, you know, yeah. when a pancake is undercooked, yeah. it's like that goopy stuff. Mm -mm. <laughs> Sorry, if no, anyone's no, no, eating. It's, no, it's, it's, Too bad for you. He opens his mouth. Now, he does not have a red cap's mouth. He can't, like, unhinge and basically just swallow something that's way too big that shouldn't be able to fit. But he can kind of open his jaw and it sort of like is way too open so it stretches his mouth out into like a thin line Ooh. and then he just squeezes the bottle in there and just tilts his head back until it all just starts running down his throat you can almost hear as it just you can keep that bottle <laughs> right into his stomach <laughs> and then he looks up and his eyes are glittering Ambrosia. Isn't ambrosia like some normal ass plant we eat these days? It was like nectar of the gods, isn't that the kind of thing? Yeah, but like, like I think it was just the name for like, I don't know, cardamom or some shit. It tastes good. Jeez, you don't have to read into it like that. Tub. You want to talk to someone with high intelligence, Dr. Purple? This is all protein? Yes, and Mickle proceeds to give like a very careful to open it a bit breakdown of it. of the the protein per serving size, how much protein uh, the ratios and how all much that. protein Crow should be consuming for the the gains that he wants to gain, and uh, and how many servings he should have in a day. I've found my protein source. It is dead. Sure, I just let, like, a dozen women beat me up. Come at me. No, you are the source of protein. Look. And he lifts this whey powder as if he's Extreme never seen this Games before. Extreme Games is, like, <laughs> Probably, the name right? of the brand or something, right? Like, two X's and two Z's. Super ripped dude on the cover. X-T-R-E-E-M. Like, oh, yeah. <laughs> is this communal? <laughs> can we keep this at the kitchen? Yeah, you can also fucking buy it at the grocery store. At the Shoppers Drug Mart, because we were in Ontario. Man. There's probably a Popeyes around here somewhere. Oh, there. Oh, yes, yeah. actually. Sorry. Yes, yes, there definitely is in the West End. I can't. <laughs> yeah. Rosebud. I owe you everything. Jesus 
Sweet. And he just sort of like retreats, holding this big ass bucket of whey. Yeah, it's probably like this big. Everything. <laughs> Sweet. You know I'm gonna hold you to that. Even though I probably can't hold you. Slippery thing. You're gonna hold Crow? <gasps> Bo just kind of pokes oh. his head around. I mean, what's up? <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna hold him. I mean, like that's all right. Like if if like that's, headlock, because if that's how it's gonna be, like he wasn't gonna eat properly, and then he did. So now I don't have to headlock. Well, of course him. he doesn't eat properly. He's a slew up. Slew up don't actually eat normal food. They like they like food that's like not really fit for consumption, but it's kind of fit for consumption. Yeah, well, I offered boiled eggs and plain ass tofu. And he oh, that's want the that. best. <laughs> Pop that shit in my mouth, like right now. All right. Where's your prisoner? He's in his room. What's he doing? Well, I don't know. I'm, I'm not supposed to observe him 24 hours a day. Probably, yeah, he's probably jacking it, yeah. Jeez. Lord. I mean, like, what if he's cranking it? <laughs> uh, uh, I don't yeah, need to Michael, see... What if he's cranking it? <laughs> I don't okay. need to I see somebody <laughs> box with the one-eyed bishop. Three weeks listening to filthy jokes. My brain is not polite. Uh, Mickle puts uh, her notes... For crow and how much protein powder crow should be eating. I mean, it's not fridge. my fault that he's shaking hands with the unemployed, if you know what I mean. <laughs> I regret everything. What? What? What did I say? Has he been talking to you? No, he's not talking to me. He's just hanging out in his room. I haven't been asking many questions. What do I have to ask? Like, hey man, do you have everything you need? And he was like, yeah, and that's about the extent of it. I'm not really like an interrogator type. I'm really more of a stock boy. I can lift heavy things and put them down. Yep. We gotta go get purple because if I stay here any longer, I'm gonna start throwing my sandwich. Do you really think around. he's flogging the hamster in there? <laughs> I don't fucking know. I like that one, man. Hamster. <laughs> don't, don't. Dude, I do not want to know about your genitalia, but if it looks anything close to a hamster, you should probably talk to your doctor. That just does not seem like the. No, problem. no, no. It's really important to maintain good grooming practice. Just they're they're like this shape and talk to your doctor <laughs> why do I have to talk to my doctor to get a hold of like some manscaped equipment it's not about the hair it's about the shape <laughs> I'm gonna tell Burble we're ready to go <laughs> he just looks sad like is it like a what Michael leaves wrong with my dick <laughs> I don't know <laughs> exactly death seems to think that there's something wrong with my dick <laughs> I'm not an expert. Your doctor probably is. That might be an expert. You don't judge. Sorry. <laughs> <clears throat> Look, if he is actually doing the old fashioned knuckle shuffle in there, then I just. <laughs> what? That one's better. It's funny. Nothing on here says like expert at dicks. So. Right. No, it's a great. It's a great point. Doctor. Doctor. Medicine would probably be. Uh, expert I have at medicine dicks. too. Medicine four. Medicine three. You have medicine <laughs> four. We're such a medical team. You have medicine. Oh, no, 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 no. I have medicine four. Genitals. Oh, I see. Uh, of course, uh, I don't. I have no medicine. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> <laughs> if you use your hamster for more than two hours, contact your doctor. Oh, boy. What, was it something I said? <laughs> if your dick has appendages, <laughs> if it has We're like arms and legs. You should see a fucking doctor. I, we're not discussing my dick. We're oh. just figuring out whether or not that guy's dick sneezing in there or not. Oh. You could go find out. Do I have to? You're the one who seems morbidly curious. No, I, Mickle's the one who was asking about whether he was jacking it. I think I'm the one who brought it up. Oh, well, then you're the one who brought up the <laughs> fact that he was jacking it. You're the one who continued it. Well, because I thought it was weird. Why would you bring that up? I don't know. Why did I? Like he's a prisoner. It's not like he's in a hotel room and he's like, oh, well, I'm in a new space yeah, why are you and I'm not the one him? who's responsible for cleaning the sheets. Yeah, why are you watching him? 
because it's not my job to oh, watch is it. it? You're no. the big strong guy. He said you're the stock boy. If the shelves are stocked, what else are you doing to keep your keep your keep? Earn your keep? Well, I've, I'm allowed to have hobbies. God. You want to fight? God damn. What? You want to fight? No. Why not? Afraid you'll lose? I'm afraid I might crush you. Oh, that's so cute. You're like tiny. I'm short. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm not. Correct. What's the... I feel like... I feel like you've... You've got like a problem and I'm trying to solve it, but I'm not sure what's going on. Um, what's your problem? Well, I don't, I don't really have a problem. Everything's fine. Great. Have a nice day. I'm so confused. Yeah. Why is everybody so concerned about my dick all of a sudden? You referred to it as a hamster. Wait, is this because you like me? You wish. I have a merit for this. <laughs> oh, shit. You aren't in the room. I know. I'm not here. I'm just saying. I mean. Just let me know. <laughs> and he, he takes his, he, he sits down on the couch and he, he folds his hands in his lap. I mean, I, I understand that people might not have told you. <sighs> but I think we should just be friends. That's fine. <laughs> um, and... I get it. I intimidate you. Well, no, I just... I intimidate you, so you're too afraid to ask me out. I get it. It's actually more that you have this unhealthy obsession with my dick. Um, if you call a minute inquiring whether or not you should see a doctor unhealthy, then... Well, you seem to think that my dick has arms and legs, and it doesn't. It's okay, well, great. Good. That's a good way ever, to be. Have you ever been with a troll? I didn't think it was a troll thing. It's not a troll thing. Good. That's what I'm trying to tell yeah. you. I mean, so I don't know. So if you Maybe... personally... Didn't answer the question, though. I just... Maybe we got off on the wrong foot. All right. So, uh... It's all normal down there. And Great. That's, Good for that's you. all that's important. All I said was you should see a doctor if it looked like a hamster, and then you kept going. Well, because it, it, it doesn't look like a hamster. Great, then you should have said, great, it doesn't, and we didn't have to have this last five minutes of ridiculous, awkward conversation. I feel judged, and I don't know why. Oh. Oh. I got confused. It's okay to be confused. I think I exist in a permanent state of confusion. No, I think you're pretty certain about some things. I think you're certain about your friendship with Crow. I think you're certain about yeah, your he's, uh, ability to lift. I think you're certain about... He's my bro. Exactly. Crow's your bro. Yeah. Bro, Bo and Crow are bros. Hey, yeah. Yeah. All right. And Crow All now right. is going to have more protein in his life. So he's going to be your bro for longer because he's going to be healthier. Cool. Um, I'm going to go. Okay. And stand outside his room, I guess, because that's apparently my job now. I'll see you later. Yeah, I have to. Well, Jesus Christ. And he just like flops back on the couch, which whoop, definitely complains a little bit at, at the weight that it's being asked to support. Cool. I'm gonna wander off to another room in the freehold. <laughs> Fuck it. How about you choose to actually do yeah, something sure. at this point? Yeah, yeah. Great. Uh, I'm I'm wrapping up my conversation with Lady Genwi, and I'm ready to head out to loot with these two. Unless Is there anything else that you needed to to talk to her about? Thinking, processing. No. <laughs> no, there is not. All right. So I'm going to assume that the three of you are now standing in the uh, crystal hall. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Uh, Burble, on the way back with Kona's, had stopped by his little home in the Glebe, right? And picked up 
a case, which she still has. It's like, you know, a large. What is the glebe? Oh, sorry. It's the, a neighborhood. It's a neighborhood in Ottawa South. Okay. My apologies. I was um, like, this isn't a room in the freehold. Like, what is that? <laughs> sounds vaguely rude. It does, doesn't it? It seemed actually. very freeholdy, right? The glebe. The I was glebe. like, uh huh. It's like a Do we know sphere. what's in it? No. What I the don't glebe? You <laughs> no. <laughs> some schools, nice homes, some. You know, <laughs> no, no, uh, I don't believe so. Now, is that its actual name, or is that kind of like how we refer to NDG as the Deej? Uh, no, no, it is legitimately... G-L-E-B-E. Yeah. No, it is legitimately uh, the name of that neighborhood. The Glebe. It's Old Ottawa. Like, it's, it's in near Ottawa. Old Ottawa South. Which I love is how also you needed to look it up to see if the man... <laughs> we I was just like, what is this? Legit, no, though, I want to learn about it. No, oh, okay, I just disbelieve you. <laughs> I went to school in that region, which is why I refer oh, to it with yeah. such confidence. Um... So I'll report back to these two. Uh, nothing going on with Lady Genui. She just, you know, I think she's maybe trying to make an impression on, on Kona's. Make sure he knows that he's in trouble. That's what I got the sense of anyway. Must have been a pretty important conversation because you really needed to talk to her by yourself. Well, don't make it like that. I just wanted to make sure that if she had anything she wanted done, I could assist her with it. Why can't we assist her with it, too? I'm a helpful guy. You're saying we're not capable? No, I'm not saying that. Sounds like that's what you're saying. Point. No, I'm just Sounds saying... Sounds like you think you're the only capable member of the trio. No, I'm not saying that at all. We all have different skills. Come on, let's go, <laughs> let's go to loot. <laughs> Where'd you get that? The bridge. The crease? Yeah, sorry. Sorry, I don't know why I'm asking that. No. Oh, the tea hose down by the corner, eh? Oh, yeah, eh? Tea hose. Yeah, they're totally open... On Sundays. Oh, yeah. Picked me up a soy double-double on the way out. <laughs> Timmy hose. Um, Do they have soy milk there? I guess they must at this point. I actually know. I hope so. They I have would hope so, so I but they I've never heard of it. At least one option. Yeah, I'd hope so, too. Uh, we're going to head west from Yans on Queen Street, basically all the way down, uh, which then gets to the Le Breton Flats, where the War, War Museum is. Yeah, I love, I love my city. <laughs> <laughs> the War Museum is the really War Museum cool. Ottawa, which is, yeah, a new building, but also is the home of Lut. Mm -hmm. what, what counts as a new building? Because it's, yeah, it's, it's not it's probably that like 20 new. years old now. Yeah. yeah. But like, it, it's like certainly more modern than a lot of yeah. buildings. There's yeah. like, and it's newer than most of the museums, I think. Mm -hmm. think yeah, museums. it doesn't look like a castle. We think like, <laughs> yeah, the Museum of Nature is yeah. a million years old. Yeah. I love that crosshair. I love that. What a dachshund? Like yeah. Taking your dog to the park. I love. Pick me up a dachshund. <laughs> As in a dozen, but like. I guess, eh? Yeah. Okay. Has big open fields and or lots around it. Mm -hmm. Probably still fields. Probably slip on some goose droppings on the boardwalk <laughs> on our way over. <laughs> Try not to. Dislocate your elbow and uh, keep going. Mm. And I guess as we approach, we're looking for um, potentially security cameras and what they might be pointed at, maybe? Or the place where he said he was picked up? Well, we'll ask uh, June. Mm. I don't have it in front of me. Yeah. Lady June? Uh, no. No. No, no, no. She no, doesn't. No, right, that's correct. Yeah, because no. she's, a, she's a commoner. <laughs> you're you're talking cow. about buzz cut. Buzzcut Buzz June Bond. Yes. That's right. Um, well, we can ask uh, June if, you know, what kind of security measures are in place and explain the situation. I'm sure she'll be more than amenable. Straight on into the building and towards the theater. So as you're approaching the, the war museum itself, uh, heading out of the building is a so uh imagine a a short kind of uh thick sort of stocky creature it's got a very elaborate set of um hair just pulled back and tied into it are, are many different beads uh alongside its beard which isn't like very long but it's quite bushy 
and its hair sort of curls into it, also with beards adorning it. Mm. It's very kind of like small, um, piercing eyes that are poking out of this mound of hair. Sorry, what is eyes. what was the first descriptor of it? Like, what is it? Short, Short and stocky. stocky. Short and stocky humanoid. Sorry, I I'm, literally missed the word. No, nothing's okay. been said yet. Cool. Nothing's cool, been said. Cool, cool. Been said. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> has two long ears that just goes whoop, like straight up like this and then tufted uh, inside very sort of hairy itself um, arms very long and gangly um, legs uh, legs are pretty normal I mean very kind of thick uh, but just very sort of lumbery um, gangly it looks like it could kind of crawl around or I should say I should say he not it um, we don't know <laughs> um, <laughs> they can I ask all of you to roll your intelligence gray mare please yeah. let's do it I have one all of you have at least one gray mare I made sure of it did six yep for fuck's sake oh no actually hang on this is good hmm. okay cool uh three okay <laughs> hey uh it's good. You've never seen something like this before. The two of you may, may or may not have seen it, but you recognize that it's a, a much more rare kith. This is a chorid. Spell, please. K O R R E D. They are, so very specifically, they're keepers of lore, masters of tradition among the Cathane. They hold the secrets that can never be told, but must never be forgotten. They are master sophists, choosing their words carefully to ensure their closely guarded mysteries remain obscure. They're also rite masters, making certain the ancient rituals that fortify the dreaming are continually observed. Most Cathane think of the Chorid as being secluded in a tower, surrounded by nothing but stacks of dusty tomes. Nothing could be further from the truth. The Chorid believe that knowledge is essential for survival, they know the loss of their history and culture due to the shattering damage to the Cathane more than they realize. Because they believe the key to preventing the endless winter lies somewhere in the past, they fearlessly seek out any scraps of information that might help preserve the dreaming. Does this, uh, does this Corrid look like they're sort of, you know, on a mission heading out of the freehold? Like heading out? No, of not on a mission. It looks like they're leaving. Like just, okay, cool. Uh, I'm they're gonna, not leaving yeah. with purpose. Okay, that's yeah. Not not the Scott like swinging his arms back and forth. He's ready to go. I feel called out. No, you and should it feel correct. Seen. <laughs> <laughs> I feel very seen. Um, I'm gonna uh, burble waves enthusiastically and sort of like starts to head towards the corridor. <laughs> oh, good afternoon. Just a moment of your time. <laughs> running over sorry guys oh my god awesome wow. i was kind of Thank imagining you. the rabbit and donnie darko yeah actually that's a bit closer to what i was thinking of as well damn awesome. hello <laughs> <laughs> good uh, good afternoon uh evening i guess yeah. I think evening. yes yes very evening always evening sometimes in some places but not here here sometimes evening sometimes day yes that's very true time does pass in a consistent manner no it has nothing to do with time oh that and he points at the moon oh Whoa. sometimes things revolve around the sun and sometimes they revolve around the earth and that determines evening or daytime sometimes daytime very long sometimes evening very long sometimes not come at all Hi. Hello. Are you here to discuss latitude? No. <laughs> oh. Well, it's nothing personal. We're we're here to visit Jane. Actually, the well, the freeholder. <laughs> I assume you're coming from Lut. No. Oh, leaving Lut. Oh, yeah, of course. <laughs> Must return. House of Scrolls. Oh, you have an important, you have important documentation you're returning there. Work to do, research to be done. No, it's where I keep my groceries. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, I, 
I, I'm just so excited. I, I've never met a Corrid before. It, I've been eating out a lot. It... <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Looking good. to do more to eat healthy. Good. More proteins, less. Thank you. Fuck. <laughs> the body is a temple, in a manner of speaking. <laughs> I'm very pleased to make your acquaintance, uh, by the way. <laughs> we don't see many Corrid around here. Whoa. You don't see Corrid a lot anyway. That's true, too. Thanks, Requiem. Um, that's a good point. I'm verbal. Uh, and as long as I get, like, a nod from my two compatriots, this is uh, Det and Mikkel. I am Chol. Chol. C-H-U-L. Thank you. H-U-L. Chol. Chol, ready for this? I spell things. They'll ask me if I don't say. It's actually kind of nice. Thanks. Whoa! Thanks, Avatar. Choo choo. Well, it's it's wonderful to make your acquaintance. Uh, I'm not sure if you can tell us what you're looking into here at Loot. Um, have you heard of the recent troubles here? Troubles? Yeah. Well, oh they, yes. Oh yes. Many troubles. Exactly. We've had a lot of issues just over the last, well, a week even. I know. It's absolutely horrible. Traffic very bad. I don't know how they can manage to close exits to certain places in Ottawa that I would say if I knew the names That's of them. the ticket. <laughs> no, no, I, I, well, I, I was thinking more about the current, um, with the, remo- with the, with the uh, uh, absolution of, uh, of sporting events amateur sporting events in the city. There's been a reduction in dreamers, glamour production. There's, the world's become a slightly more banal place. You haven't heard of the news? It sucks. World always becoming more banal. Endless winter. I would say coming, except at the same time, that seems to be a bit too cliche to say these days. It's true. I saw the show. <laughs> it approaches. Yes, exactly. The long winter is approaching. It can be pushed back can always be pushed back. Do you not agree? You know how to push back in this winter? I just think we have to. Yes. We must. Exactly. And you think it's done with balls? Well, I think that's a part of the situation and the circumstances. Yeah. I'm not one for, you know, sporting events myself. <laughs> More Neither of a mental am I. competitor. Oh. And he goes for a high five. Oh, hey. And I get, I get it. Uh, he, his high five is way too enthusiastic. Uh. You ever high five somebody who's just so into the high five that they like need to leave a welt on your hand as it goes by? Yeah, yeah. That's him. He does not realize how hard oh. he's doing it. Oh. Like, it's, yeah. It, it It's like a, a full on yeah, yeah. wham. <laughs> not all sports involve balls. No. Very true. Some sports involve sticks. Some sports involve nothing at all. Stones. Not even clothing. Huh? I haven't heard of these nude no ball sports. Naked wrestling. I guess they're sometimes balls. Greco Roman wrestling, I believe, is the technical (laughs) term. There were a lot of informative t shirts at one point in time in the 90s. Co ed naked volleyball. Co ed naked engineering. That involves balls. Co ed naked. Engineering, maybe not. Well, it depends on what your engineering. Do you remember these? No, no. I don't. Okay, honestly. so for a while it was like Thank you, Requiem. Uh, it Thank was you. a it was a line of novelty shirts and they all had a tagline. So the only one I can remember off the top of my head was Coed Naked Engineering working together to make a better screw. Oh. Oh, oh my that's god. That's ringing a bell. Dear. Patches would have totally worn that shirt. <laughs> and oh, it, it was dear. just like Coed Naked Engineering and then like underneath working to better working together to make a better screw or whatever and then yeah. it would have just like an image of a screw yeah like it didn't have any nudity on it right. or like yeah. these were t-shirts that people used to wear oh jeez louise you're hi <laughs> yeah alas i didn't know people that cool <laughs> maybe it was before your time yes. <laughs> old man <gasps> Joel's so old Buska there, you can talk to her. She might care more about sports than I do. Sports are, da- are dumb. Yeah. 
I don't think you can make such a sweeping generalization. Why not? You don't no, think they bring any value to the world? Your brain not say that. does complex ca- math every time it tries to get you to catch a ball, right? No. Mathematics is a language. Your brain does calculations. Great. It does complex calculations. Who are you? <laughs> Det. Hello, Det. I am Chol. Hi, Chol. Hi. <laughs> Sports aren't dumb. To me, sports are dumb. To you, to me, you're dumb. dumb. <laughs> Yay! We have reached an accord. <laughs> and he goes for a high five. Yeah! Slam! No, you probably Accordance are. Accordance Wars V2. Let's go. Oh, I, oh my God. God. No, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> Accordance Wars. That's one of the rarest kids. What are you doing? <laughs> my God, that corn had a family. <laughs> She bad. He says sports for dumb. <laughs> Kill him. <laughs> uh, Liz, can you mute me, actually? Uh, okay, thank you. Sorry. No. I know you said Liz, but... Yeah, no. <laughs> I believe you just muted someone. Me. Yeah. yeah. Oh. It was check. requested. Yeah. Oh. I thought he was complaining that he was muted. Oh, no. This whole time. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Who's this? Nickel. Do you like sport? Yeah. Oh. Then it is two versus two. I feel good about our chances. <laughs> are we going to fight? We should have done that inside. They like that. Hey, do you hang out here a lot? Occasionally. It is important sometimes to increase breadth of knowledge instead they of should... precision. Do you see a sketchy van pull up here every so often, picking people up? Van? Mm-hmm. No. Limousine? Limousine? How often does this limousine show up? Well, approximately once a week. At Where? least when I'm here. Where? Show. Oh. Please. Chul can show. And he starts. Jesus Christ. Mickle <laughs> 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 is finally dis- disquieted. I just, I just like the idea that, you know, that's so fine. Like, I'm going to show line. you where it is. And Mickle just starts puking <laughs> everywhere. God. <laughs> what a weird line, too. It's totally like. Why is this super weird? fine for that dude's life. It's just such an odd discovery. Like, why? Uh, <laughs> come, 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 come. And he reaches forward and he. Offers both of his hands. I do not take a hand. Takes the hand. Starts pulling. Oh, I was like, "Uh, I guess he takes my hand then. (laughs) Takes his hand and he starts pulling you along. I follow with purposeful strides. Uh... So I should also point out that there is something that at least the two of you would know. Mm-hmm. Uh, the cord have a very specific frailty. As the chosen guardian of the dreaming secrets and traditions, a cord is forbidden from altering any of it. He may never knowingly tell a lie. Oh, thank God. He may elect to not volunteer information or word a statement in a misleading fashion, but the letter of everything a cord says must be true. They're like the anti puka. Puka? Puka. Do you want to talk about puka? So it's got that a limo a Kate, has been a pulling up. Oh, every, that was a Kate thing? Oh, okay. Sorry. Every week to um to pick people up. Okay. Every week. Mm-hmm. Well, 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 well. That Shoal has seen. Right. Yeah, honestly, Gaul could probably be a cord. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Lorekeeper? Yeah. Please stop telling the truth to everyone. <laughs> Uh, so Chill is, is now pulling There's actually one arm that's still free That's being extended Mikkel refused it Correct. Uh, But Chill is now pulling Debt by the hand So Burble can take the hand if he wants oh, I will, what are we doing? I love it <laughs> So Whee! he is taking you To where he's seen a limousine Regularly pick people up Here any distinguishing characteristics? Any, oh, I don't know, big beefy security guards get out? Or the driver have an eye patch or something? Never saw driver. <gasps> Seen one person stand outside. Satyr. Very beautiful. Mm. 
The satyr got out of the limo to meet whoever, or the satyr would it? always get out of the limo to from the front seat and then open up passenger side. He has muscles for days. Very nice muscles. Mm. Not really Chul's thing. Chul more of a doughy lover. <laughs> You're the best. <laughs> I don't even know if that was in character or not. I'm not. I'm not sure. Honestly, I'm not sure. Doughy. <laughs> no. But can see the advantage of muscle sometimes. I like dough too. Anyway, that's beside the point. What would the satyr do? Would open the door and then somebody from inside Lurt would come out and get into the limousine. Usually a visitor. I don't think I have ever seen somebody who I have seen many times at Lurt before get into the limo. It's so. That is why it was strange. At the same time. Perhaps there is some sort of courier service to deliver people to a place where they can get beat up and talk about things. That's what it is. Right. It's did a place where you can get beat up? up and talk about things. You don't look beaten up. Oh, I did not participate in the combat. I just spoke. I delivered a dissertation. Cool. Congratulations. Yes. How was it received? Poorly. It was to be expected. I was speaking about the uh, sheer dominance of Arcadian Shi during the Accordance War. That seems like a uh, difficult topic to broach yes. here, specifically. I believe it was respected. However, at the same time, I do think that I may have insulted someone, and if I did insult someone, I did not wish to remain. So instead, I'm leaving, and I will get them a very nice card. Good. That's a good way to think about it. Yes. Apologize at a distance. Cards. Especially because I was still wondering whether sexual congress was on the table or not. Oh. oh. W uh. Were they doughy? Oh, yes. I see. <laughs> <laughs> um. Sure likes chunky monkey, as it were. So what day of the week did these, uh... <laughs> No, no. These characters no, come no, out. No, 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 I want to hear my character's lines. He's like begging you. <laughs> Each of our characters' lines are being discovered. No, so His <laughs> haven't been reached oh, yet. I love it. No, just, oh, fuck, that's funny. No, no, okay, yes. <laughs> well, Chul, I hope you find all the happiness that you're entitled to. Um, Tell us more about when these uh, limos would pull up. Are you... What day of the week did you see them? Yeah. What day of the week is... Oh, God. This? Oh, jeez. Who knows? I will say Saturday. Saturday is Great. The, no, so, it, it is not a Saturday. He is saying it oh, will it normally be Saturdays. Uh, this is a weekday. We'll yeah. we'll call it, fuck it, we'll call it a Friday. Great, it's cool Friday. Beans, and then uh, uh, what time of day? Sundown. Always sundown. Because that is when I leave. I prefer to walk away when uh, there is enough light that I can still navigate without seeing any of the lampposts lit up. Lampposts deliver sort of harsh light. She will not liking harsh light as much. Oh, that must make it very difficult to get around urban settings. <laughs> no. Only at night, I suppose. <laughs> there is a beauty and a majesty of night. Yes. However, one cannot see a star. Not that that matters that much. They can be beautiful, too, if you're in the right place. I do appreciate beauty. At the same time, I also appreciate... nature. Ah, oh, okay. But only when nature has something to tell us. Tell me, do you have something to tell us? I... Uh it feels as if there has been a lot of information coming out of my mouth, and not a lot of information coming into my ears. Well, I don't have... I'm happy to keep it that way. I, I, I can share, you know, things that I know, but when it comes to this limo, all we know, or all we believe, is that it's possible that it's bringing people to a very dangerous place. A place where they perhaps lose a sense of themselves. Perhaps they lose control over their lives. Or at least get suckered into making really bad deals. Right. But you wouldn't care anything about that because it all comes down to the end of sport. And you think sports are dumb, so... I think sports are dumb for Chul. <laughs> but you understand the value that sports have. Well, of course. Why wouldn't we have sport? Sport is basically a replacement for war. Uh, that's actually not a uh, bad way of looking at uh, it. I think it's a bit more complex than that. <laughs> 
Note to self from my meeting with the mayor tomorrow at 2 p.m., which I just noticed in my notes. Um, oh, yeah. <laughs> um, tell him that sport is akin to war, because that's really excellent, and we need um, less war and more sport. Doop. Oh, I see. You see, it is the nature of humanity to want to establish dominance over another, to discover that you have power over them. Normally, you do this with a stick. You bonk them on the head. However, sport has given you a way to do so in a contained arena with rules and usually medical standby. You hold the stick and then you bonk them with your body instead. It's a different kind of sport. Evolution. But at the same time, you're not intending to kill. Correct. That would be against the rules. That I would be way more that. than that a four-minute penalty. That would be a really penalty. unentertaining sport. All right. I appreciate sarcasm. I'm not very good at it. Me neither. <laughs> what do you mean, Burble? You're gray. Sarcasm. Yeah. There's also an element, I think, to sporting competitions. It isn't limo just to is an escalade. It was an escalade. Yeah, an escalade limo actually exists. They are awful. Yeah. They would, yeah. They're um, gross. They're super gross. Sorry. Sorry. If you really like escalades, I don't. I'm I'm sorry, but like, oh. Uh, so same one every week. Oh yes. So not rented, maybe. Maybe it no. Won't. I don't the think always wore a wonderful uniform. A uniform. Yes. What? What kind of a uniform? Oh, very classy. Hmm. A vest. Black or white limo. Black. Cat. Nice. You wore a vest. Or vest. Uh, trousers. Trousers always seem strange on satyrs. Yes. Not. Always wore trousers. Hmm. Huh. Any logos, hmm. company names? No. Well, there was the, you know, the Escalade has a logo. <laughs> How about a license but plate? I have failed you. <laughs> what? You're right. No, you've done you so have. much. No, you've done so much for us. Don't be. I mean. do not remember any license plate number. I did not consider it important enough. Of course you wouldn't. It's just a mysterious uh, Escalade limousine that pulls up to the door and invites someone in weekly to be whisked off to goodness knows where. It's just a mystery. You don't have to memorize license plates. It has nothing to do with you, but it has everything to do with us. It definitely has nothing to do with me. I do not know who is driving, and I do not ever get into the limo. Hot they have not offered either. Theater. Now, Maybe it's because I am only a visitor here? Maybe it's because sometimes conversation with me is, I am told, difficult. I think those people need to try harder. Who consider that, I mean? I am certain that it is because I have a lot of knowledge and I have a peculiar way of speaking it in their ears. I'm going to ask you one more question, Shul. And you don't have to answer if you don't want to, because we've already asked you quite a bit, and you've been very helpful. Did you get the sense that the people who were coming out to the limo, that they knew the Seder? What was the relationship between them? Could you tell? Like they were expecting it. Oh. I don't know if they knew the Seder, but it looked like they were ready to get into the limo when it arrived. It was never a surprise. The plot thickens. I like whisper All to these tracks, two. this is exactly what... Uh, yeah, exactly. This track? Yeah. Yeah, no, no, it does. But it does. now you know it's true. Oh, it's true. <laughs> he can't lie. Thank <laughs> God. Unless... Unless... <laughs> Someone's... Chicanery or Dicked whatever. And right? Oh, God. Or some shit. Yeah. I don't know. I don't think you could dictum a chord to yeah, lie. Yeah, I have no idea. But like, no, because it would be against the will of the dreaming. Because whatever. There is something very specific. It's not like a puka who can spend willpower. Chord can't lie. Nice. Straight up, they that's cannot. A, that's lie. a wild frailty to have. Now yeah. you could dictum a chord to say, say this, and then they would just fail to. Yeah, or it'd be like. He told me to tell you that the sky is brown. 
Mm -hmm. right like they i feel like there's a way that they could yeah they can uh, get a, follow the dictum get around yeah. it normally you have to follow the spirit of a dictum yeah, yeah yeah but at the same time they cannot be forced to do like you can't dictum to somebody to do something they cannot do like right. dictum a who could tell the truth if they have no more willpower right like, I'll dictum or, someone to fly well or, if you yeah, yeah. if you dictum like a puka to tell around. the truth yeah then they would basically be forced to try and try and try until they eventually were able to get the truth gotcha. out. Gotcha. Damn. Gross. Yeah, anyway. That's bad news. They wouldn't be able to, they'd basically not be able to speak until they could get mm -hmm. to the point where they could. Anyway. It would suck. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I you can't, that. Mm -hmm. you cannot make a Korod lie. Joel, I, I'm sorry to say that I don't think any of us have any um, specific lore that might be of interest to you, uh, unless you're interested in physics hockey tell me about protein why 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 would you bring that up what a weird day you were so happy when i brought up protein there are some people who want to wake up the next day magically being able to lift three times as much as the day before, and they're not willing to make the necessary changes to their nutrition plan, and it fucking pisses me off. Oh. I appreciate protein. Thank you. You were very kind to me. Perhaps you are not kind to everyone. Yeah, what, yeah, whatever. <laughs> I mean to be kind. The sun is starting to dip below the horizon. What? <laughs> Are there other questions? <laughs> I thought that was the sun. What? The sun sound effect. What? 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 <laughs> Sometimes when it comes up, it's got an angry face on it. Mm. I love that. Oh, God. Um, I don't think I have anything else. Unless you guys nope. do. I'm good. Not for now, Chill, but if you are indeed storing your groceries at the House of Scrolls, I'm sure we'll be by. Perhaps we'll see you again. I am going to try a new ramen recipe. Oh. I'm making the noodles by hand. Wow. It is true that uh, Standish will most likely get very angry with me. I have a habit of spilling flour everywhere. And is he the hot Seder driver? No. Good. Get. <laughs> Finish your story. Sorry. He does not have the muscle definition to be a beautiful limo attendant. Very, very complex brain. Mm -hmm. Little patience for being servile. Sorry, you were saying about Raven. I'm. I'm going to make my own noodles, and he's going to be mad. Probably. It's like you can see the future. No. Oh. It's like you can see the future. I can extrapolate based on previous events. And That's when I spill flour, he tends to get angry. <laughs> when you ah. spill flour, he will glower. <laughs> she has a gift for rhyme. Yeah. Exactly. Punch and munch. Yeah. And number crunch. Number crunch. That's me. It's sort of a thing that we say because because they're because the sounds are the same and they define us a little bit. It's something that we say often. I'm not stupid. Okay, I get it. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, I thought you didn't know us very well, so maybe you wouldn't understand. Well, I can imagine. Munch, for you see, this one is a red cap who are known to be born of hunger. Punch, for this one is a cluricon and therefore has understood the the value of violence and you seem to be somebody who is of a particularly scientific bent have i not seen you perform have you perform have you ever done anything that was recorded oh i'm sure because you don't you haven't met this no before. correct yeah and you would probably notice if one was in the audience he has quite a distinctive look <laughs> Benjamin Burble uh, runs sort of summer camps, science summer camps, um, physics fundamentals was at least one of the ones I came up with. There I were some love other it. Names as well. It's awful, and uh, I it's love really it. It's really bad news. Um, but I have no doubt that as part of like a high school teaching thing, at some point, uh, he filmed like 
some YouTube videos, you know. Aww. So yes. Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye. Goodbye, Troll. Bye. It's wonderful to meet you. Turns around. <laughs> it's a great walk. Yep, that's his walk. <laughs> wow, Very I sure hope we get to see him walk again. <laughs> um. Well, that was certainly valuable. Of course, I think uh, Miss Bus Buscut will be able to Buscut what? Buscut Ms. June Bond. Yeah, I think Miss Buscut will be able to tune us into why these people are meeting the limo here. Possibly, uh, I hope she's not involved in any way. That would be awkward. And hopefully, she doesn't take it as some sort of insult to imply that she's involved if she's completely unaware of it. Oh, we're, we're not going to imply that. Good. No, you're not going to walk in and be like, all right, Buzzkite. Shaki! <laughs> you seem like somebody who can be easily overwhelmed. With <laughs> <laughs> a name like that, yeah. violence is clearly the answer. <laughs> <laughs> you have chosen poorly. Uh, we're going to make our way in. Head in. It's the War Museum. The War Museum, as I believe I've described earlier, um, I love it because it strikes a very, very specific tone. It's not so dour that you feel like you're walking in and you're like, well, this is going to be like a downer for like the rest of my day, which some places that's absolutely like I've been to, for instance, Holocaust memorials where like you that's kind of what you need to do in a lot of ways. But it's also not like coming in and being like war. It's fantastic. Like it's, it's very much a war is a reality that Canadians and people around the world have had to face. Uh, let's learn about it. And there's, uh, like, for instance, their their basement level is just filled with old vehicles, mm. like old military vehicles, like old planes, jeeps. Like it's super cool to look at if that's if you're like a gearhead. Mm -hmm. it, you'd be wonderful walking around in there. But there are also exhibits that showcase various different aspects of, of warfare and uh, the one that I really enjoyed was one that detailed uh, medicine and doctors and mm. it had like first aid kits from like the 1800s oh, to God. the 1900s to today and just showed like the differences and what was in it and it was just fascinating to see and like there were old training videos that they had for like physicians and like they were things like here's how to apply a tourniquet and i'm like okay cool uh but as you enter into the war museum the there is a theater do you want to let people know how to get to the theater uh so as you enter the building the floor the building itself from the outside is pretty stark concrete it evokes a bunker um, and as you enter, that that sort of feeling somewhat continues. There's an openness to the lobby. It's quite broad. It's quite open. You can see the ticket desk. You can see the security desk. But there's also in the center of this relatively open space an inset something. And that inset something is actually a theater that once you enter is flat, more polished concrete with relatively concrete looking walls, but there is a stage, there are some lights, and there are seating which can be pulled out like bleachers. Mm. Um, it feels, it, the style of it still feels evocative of being in a war museum. They didn't just make a nice plush red curtain theater. Yeah, yeah. In the popcorn, of this war gotcha, popcorn. Right? Like weird, they, right? yeah. There's something sort of wonderful about that continuation of theme within there. I'm just looking at pictures. because Yeah. Um, but you, I believe you said it was near the booth? Yeah, the entrance to loot is actually near the booth, not um, the booth. So as you go to enter, there's a set of stairs um, that usually will have a chain and say, like, staff only. But if you go up those stairs, there is a raised booth that will be behind the bleachers once the bleachers are pulled out. But if the bleachers are collapsed, it's just 16, 20 feet in the air. Um, and there are quite a few doors, including doors that would lead out to the rows of bleachers for like audience to go up and down but when the bleachers aren't there they're just doors that are locked because mm -hmm. they'd go into nothing. no, nothingness yeah no. um so there are several doors up there especially a staircase you get to the top ah! yeah exactly just open the yeah. door like <laughs> bad news thank you 
I asked because she... I worked there for a week yeah. or two. I don't know. Time, Get to know time, it pretty well. Uh, yes, real. Yes, it is. Mm. Uh, you were there for uh, about a week. Yeah. I would have noticed if you weren't here for two weeks. I'd be like, where? What was going on? Oh, wasn't? Well, yo, I don't have a kid anymore. I was in oh, Ottawa no. for a quantity of time. I don't know. Sometimes she says we lost it. Just. Yes, crosshair. The you did the Google. Barney Dancing Theater. Yeah. Who is? Oh, I'll look that up on my own time. Barney Dancing sounds like Neil Patrick Harris and yep. Ted Danson. Yes. Got together and like yes. squeezed themselves into one comedic legend, <laughs> one comedic television legend. Oh, thanks, Crosshair. Link? Now I have to look at this link. This is a JPEG. I will show it to you. JPEG. Uh, Ooh. Yeah, like Ooh, how that's like, what the bleachers out. Yeah. Nice. I was using it with no bleachers. It was just bare concrete. Yeah. They yeah. Away. Yeah. It's actually quite. It's not brutalistic architecture, mm -hmm. but it's definitely like stark concrete. Mm -hmm. Like they, they make no pretense at this being anything other than a war museum. Yeah. We're gonna do it. So as you get there, and as uh, you get to the door, and you open up, one thing that you would recognize is that the door would open up. And then there's a short hallway, but it's it's a containment area. There's another door, and at that door there is a window and like a slot. You're usually intended to knock. <laughs> I didn't even have to roll for that. <laughs> Thanks, John. I guess. Barney Michael is the one who <laughs> Weird ass time period of time to be the minister also, of national for like defense. Three years, years? Wow. And like in the late seventies. Maybe like, he donated a lot of money or something. Weird. <laughs> anyway, okay, all right, whatever. And also, that wasn't during a. Yeah, exactly, exactly. You'd think. Well, no, that was during. That was during the. Uh... Was that during? Oh, man. Was that when the no. October crisis happened? No, that was. Uh, that was the 80s? That was 1980. Yeah. It is pretty cool, Crosshair. I do agree. But yeah, weird. Yeah, it, is, it is a very cool building so on the now. inside. It's. It looks very cool. Anyway, so you're knocking. Yeah. <laughs> uh, a, a door opens up and you hear who is it uh, Mickle Burble and um, Debt we're here rep for, from, yeah. from Yans yeah we're representatives from Care Frostly I'm just like shouting over Mickle's shoulder <laughs> <laughs> up, up. Jesus. have you ever visited loot before no nope <laughs> that's Sorry? Have you ever visited loot before? I'm going to say no, for the sake of simplicity. All right. Before you're allowed to gain access, you must understand that we aren't here to just make you better. Okay. Great. W what are you here to do? We're here to advance. Oh. The door unlocks. The, like, you can hear a click, clack, clack, clack. Three separate locks opening and when it opens up you see the roughest looking boggin nice you ever did see <laughs> he's got just like a scowl and he's got scars and he's wearing an old like army jacket which is looks like a little too big on his smaller frame uh he's Wearing fingerless gloves, combat boots. Uh, he's got a toothpick in his mouth. Whoa. Uh, thanks for letting us in. Whoa. <laughs> I'm like, Whoa. you talk. Yeah. Scared, yeah. My name is Wumble Tums. Um, w M. Mm hmm. B L E. T-U-M-S. Uh, oof, that's a very funny name on a very serious looking dude. Yeah, yeah I'm rolling tanks? some willpower not to roll. <laughs> like for to, sure. Not to laugh. I'm gonna, woof, I'm gonna try not to laugh at that as well, yeah. Uh, Bad news. I, my dice are on fire today. I'm gonna wow. roll like three times today and they're not, I'm never gonna you to botch and for you to just be like, kill it! <laughs> <laughs> Uh, <laughs> I guess I'll roll too. I don't know. I just I feel like I might giggle a little bit. No, no, there's some successes here. 
Two successes. Yes, if everyone else is doing it. Yeah, yeah I don't know, just for fun. Yeah. Mm. If everybody else jumped off a cliff, would you laugh at Wumbletums? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, Wumbletums. <laughs> it's so good. Yeah, we're good, too. All right. What are you here for? We have to discuss something with Buzzcut. June, the freeholder. I know who Buzzcut is. I know you do. We've spilled the same blood in the same mud. Oh, God. <laughs> just, like, so far away, just like, oh, Do no. we need to be talking to her, or can we just ask anyone here? I think we should probably speak to the freeholder, but that's a good point. Like, father? I'll present you to the commander. Thank you. Now, <laughs> before I take you there, Do you need any refreshment? Yeah. What you got? I can bring you some delightful sugar cookies. Sounds fucking great. All right. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Wumble tums. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks. <Sorry>. You. <laughs> so are you. Kung Fu Fenris? Yes. Yes. Yes, it was. It was. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> uh, do you actually laugh when you say his name? No. No. I mean, no, I'm really. I don't say his name, though. For Thank sure. You. Right. Mumble Tums. <laughs> so he takes, he, he starts guiding you through. Now, the freehold here, there's, um, it seems to be all centered around one large uh atrium mm -hmm. area uh there's two levels there's a level on the bottom there's a level up top and there's several doors around like a balcony on the second level that overlooks the atrium and on this atrium it is uh it, it looks like imagine your stereotypical uh place of training right like either a dojo or a uh just like mats like laid out on the floor so that there's just a white square and uh there you can see that there's uh various different lining on the outsides like against the wall there there are some mooks you know what a mook is so that's the yeah. wooden kind of thing with like sticks poking out of it oh. so that you can like is that what those are called various parts uh well among other names okay sure yeah i think i mooks are also like the random ass bad guys who get so i was expecting iced. we were about to get jumped yeah. i thought you were like yeah there's some just just some random red Stupid shirts walking around like yeah, they're like dudes they're all chewing toothpicks as well and like idly like michael jackson chains. bad starts playing <laughs> I'm ready to get beat up here yeah. anyway wild oh, dark timeline hurt is a little harsher than that but he's not here also that's not the dark timeline that's this timeline. It's this time. <laughs> uh, oh and Wild. the there's like weapons racks. Mm -hmm. but the weapons are very, very like you'll see there's like an atlatl, um, which is literally like a sling for spears. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. There's wow. pikes, swords, but there's also things like tonfa, right? The sticks with a little... Uh, protrusion at the mm -hmm. end so that you can hold them like that uh eskrima sticks which are just basically two sticks, sticks. <laughs> uh there's um you know a net gun damn and there are on it <laughs> and there's like a, a few locked safes <sighs> mm. so there's people who can like you can watch from above on that second floor which is literally just a balcony leading to other rooms around or you could stay below you're currently on the upper level so Wumbletums takes you along one of the hallways and then he stops outside of a room and the room just has commander and then underneath uh, is written buzz cut uh, Judy June. June not Judy Judy uh, that'd be great buzz cut June Bond um, underneath you see that this door like every door at this freehold tall quite tall Whoa. tall says mm -hmm. I'll be getting you your sugar cookies soon <laughs> do you want 
a fresh frosting application. Fuck yeah. All right. If some of them could be made into sandwiches with the frosting between them and also on the top and bottom. Don't push your fucking luck. And he turns around and he starts. Don't you raise your voice a bit. <laughs> do you, do you, do you snap back? No, but Mickle takes a very deep breath. <gasps> Love it. Fee, fee, fa, fo, fum. You, You've drawn the arrow. Of Wimbledon. 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 <laughs> Love it. Oh, I love it. Kind of love Wumbletums, and yep. I don't know why. <laughs> You're the one who invented them. I know. Sometimes we bring back NPCs and we collect NPCs, and I think this is the beginning of Clearly a collection one of us needs to start dating Wumbletums so we can keep them around always. Yes, Burble, it's definitely one of you. Us sh- Why me? Because you're the one who bought the five-point fucking merit that makes this possible. Yay! Just, which you have not used. Yet. Yet. I have to spend willpower just oh, to, just to poor see, fucking just to, baby. <laughs> just to see if they're attracted to anyone. I have to spend glamour, a resource I haven't spent yet. <laughs> Fucking shit. wiener. What is this? I feel very, very attacked. <laughs> Roasted. I, do you, I feel a little roasty toasty. There's no point in having glamour if you're not going to spend it's it. True. It's true. Oh, a wait, you're point. Sealy. You have weird thoughts. Anyway. <laughs> uh, well, he's he's gone, and don't push your luck as we... <laughs> Damn. As he's walked away, right? Yeah, he's he's walked away. Uh, you see that in the back of his pocket, uh, there's the distinct outline in his like, in his pants of brass knuckles, the poor little things, and a bar underneath. It's like pressed right up against his butt. Nice. So like as he's walking, these four little circles mm-hmm. are just bouncing merrily along. It's <laughs> kind of awesome. Uh, I'm going to uh, knock on the commander's door. Come. Door is opened. <laughs> you get inside. You can see that there's a uh, beautiful troll who is uh, standing at ease behind her desk. Very long black hair. Uh, well, not very long. It's like shoulder length. Uh, tied into a, a bun. So I guess... You can't necessarily tell exactly how long this, but like, it's not like it's not a huge. It's not it's like not huge, but yeah, it's yeah. it's definitely like she's she's not bald. She does not have a buzz cut, mm-hmm. as it were. Mm. Um, features very refined. Uh, her eyes incredibly wise. There are the there are the wrinkles that you would expect someone of her age, uh, but she carries herself with Helen Mirren like oh, yeah, dignity. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, very tall. Very strong, very solid. It looks like she could take root in one particular area and that it would be impossible to knock her down. Uh, but she's not dressed in the same kind of pseudo army attire that Wumbletums was. Uh, instead, she's wearing just a very simple, uh, simple blouse and skirt. Could we get appearance ratings for everyone we've met so far? Uh, yes, you can. Just today. So, Just today. <laughs> yeah, I don't so you've met, so far. You, I, I, Chul, by my, by my count, you have met get. three new NPCs. Yes. So, Chul is appearance two. Makes sense. Wumbletums is appearance two. June is appearance four. Mm-hmm. Wow. Thank you. Miss Bond, th- thank you for receiving us on such short notice. Yes, and you are? My name is Benjamin Burble. These are my associates, friends. Det. Mickle. I recognize you, Det. You play for the geese. I do. Excellent work. Thank you. Geese Sorry. have been needing a solid first right wing in a long time. <laughs> Damn. Appreciated. I suppose that's tangentially related to why we're here today. Um, in that, at our exhibition game, now that sports are being shut down, um, my friends encountered someone in the audience. There's a Pisky who, who, well, needs us to stay. At ease. Take a seat. We can discuss this civilly. I floop down in a chair. I sit. 
coffee? Yes. Yes, please. So she has like a carafe. Nice. Off to the side, and she fills coffee, uh, offers whatever you might want to to put in it, hands it over to you, and then she sits down as well. Ramrod straight. Mm-hmm. To make a long story short, there was someone who has been causing disruptions at these games, chaos, manipulating mortal emotions to cause violence, and with the eventual goal, we believe, of having shut down sporting events in the city. For the time being, that may change. Hmm. We spoke to this Pisky. We have him staying over at Yen's for the moment. And we have reason to believe that he was whisked away from here, outside Lut, uh, to a game, uh, perhaps a casino or a poker game, where he was indebted and forced to perform these acts. Miss Bond, I don't know what the connection to loot is, but we also encountered someone just now who mentioned that this limousine has been coming weekly to pick people up from here. I'm worried that there may be more people who are meeting the same fate, losing their shirts, so to speak, in a game of chance and skill. You're speaking of someone using psychological warfare in order to provoke violence, but this is a false flag operation. In what way is it a false flag operation? Whoever is looking to get sports shut down is attempting to do so by inciting the government to do it itself. Yes? Yes, exactly. That's what's happened. Do you believe that this is somebody who has power, who is attempting to divert attention as a result? We have we have reason to believe, or so our pisky friend told us, that this person, this, well, whoever's running this situation, wants to move on to bigger and better things, wants to try to secure all public glamour generation. And this is only the first part of a campaign. That's what we want to stop. Did you find that this occurred during your most recent exhibition match? It did. He attempted to, yeah. Hmm. Like indicate, you know, probably a hint of bruising by wherever I got injured. I don't remember I got injured. It's been... I mean, Four weeks. <laughs> it's, yeah. you got yeah. roughed up a bunch. Yeah, yeah. Um, the bruises would be mostly gone at this point because you've been spending time in a free Real, yeah. But at the same time, like it's still visible yeah, yeah. and she can still notice it. It's just, it's the same day, isn't it? Yeah. 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 Uh, you heal bashing damage and free holds very quickly. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Oh, cool. I thought it required a night's rest. Uh, it does in our server. Oh, ah, <laughs> that's what it is. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we, we house ruled that. Hmm. Disturbing. It is. This can't be allowed to continue. So what do you have to ask of me? We want to know if you have any information, security footage, eyewitness accounts of the limousine that's been pulling up in front of loot every Saturday for the last, well, I don't know how long. Several weeks. Several weeks. (laughs) She doesn't say that. I'm, no, no, I, yeah, yeah. I don't make use of security footage that belongs to the Canadian government. Of course not. That would be... But there are ways. Will you hold for a moment? We can. Uh, we're at your leisure. No, my dear Burble, I am at yours. She stands up again, and uh, while you're sitting, she looks even taller. Uh, And that's when you hear a knocking at the door, and you can smell hot, hot sugar. (laughs) I was going to say hot what? (laughs) Hot Wumbletums. Oh, God. Uh, Wumbletums comes in and is holding a, a big tray, and on the tray there are steaming hot Mm. cookies. Uh, 
and each of the cookies is in the shape of a little weapon. So there's a little sword. Oh That's God. the there's cutest thing spear. I've ever seen there's in my life. Gun. So charming. There's a little trident. <laughs> well, these look wonderful, Wumbletums. Thank you. I made them with love. Yeah. Puts them down on the desk. Commander. He turns around and he leaves. I start eating them. I, uh, I wait for them to cool down, but I make sure to steal a few before you eat the rest. I will not They are, not they slow are down. definitely too hot to eat currently. Remember, he is a boggin and mm -hmm. therefore cooked them very quickly and got them here in <laughs> time. Very yeah. hot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, John, can I use my birthright uh, social dynamics to roll I can't roll on the freehold as a whole because you haven't met them just you, been here Boggins don't walk in and immediately know everything okay. they're just okay. very good at observing okay so I'll observing quickly but what are you looking time. for I'm curious about their relationship specifically yeah you can roll that okay cool um I always forget if it's perception empathy Presem it empathy. is I'm, I you, believe you you're mind, correct but you. I'm just gonna check because yeah. I happen to have it open in front of me for Boggins your birthright functions on a perception and empathy or subterfuge role. Right. Um, the difficulty is five. Cool. Oh, it's only to five for Boggins. Well, mm -hmm. the difficulty can range from uh, five for a small dinner party to nine for a ducal freehold. Gotcha. He's only going to be able to get the dynamics between the two of them, and if there's anything that has to do with a third party that he doesn't know, he can't. He can't. He right? Can't yeah, know. yeah, yeah. That makes sense. Uh, but he's just very adept at noticing like how they treat each other, and so what their current dynamic is. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. And maybe we'll see about that other birthright sometime, or that other merit sometime. Uh, I got four successes. Four successes. Uh, Wumbletums is utterly devoted to. June. June, uh, June trusts him, but at the same time, uh, she takes a much more like he takes their relationship very seriously. Like she's the commander, and she's just like, yeah, you're a bargain who spends time at my freehold, and like I'm glad that you're here, and you know, like I I like you and all that, but like I'm not your commander. Mm -hmm. That's that's the thing. Even though she has it listed on the door even though it has it there, uh, she doesn't feel like she's a commander. She's not currently commanding an army. Right. So as someone who rose to prominence as someone who commanded an army. That's right. Yeah. So he is ascribing to her something that she does not currently believe is, is correct, but also clearly she's tolerating it and is allowing him to do this without kind of like knocking him around being like, what the fuck are you doing? Yeah, yeah. Uh, what we would call in the biz as pulling a mickle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, the biz. Thank you. Um, right. Yes, the cookies have arrived. About half of them are now gone. Oh. You don't actually have to worry about burning your mouth on anything. That doesn't. No. That doesn't happen. <laughs> take some. Take some <laughs> off just in case. Eh? Yeah. Um. Again, I just want to be clear. This is. We're reaching out on behalf of Care Frostleaf, and we hope to work alongside Lut in this, because it certainly feels like an assault on the county. Baronetcy, sorry. Indeed. May I make use of your phone? Yeah, of course. She takes the phone. Oh. Yep. Anyway, yep. And she immediately goes into the settings of your phone and then changes the time and the date. Just starts scrolling back and back and back and then changes it which your phone is now confused because it's used to getting its time from the internet and now it's like the fuck so it's telling you that like your appointments from several weeks ago are due and oh no get my back waxed not again <laughs> that was so painful last time and then Herbal. her eyes just roll up yes Yes, I see it now. It would appear a limo at sundown. Saturdays. Yes. What do you need to know? A uh, license plate. I can't. 
cannot see the license plate, only the faces of those who are approaching. Wait. And then she rattles off a series of mm-hmm. numbers and numbers. Nice. What did they say to the satyr at the door? They say nothing. Whoever is walking in just expects to be allowed inside. The doors close behind them. They do not exchange any words. Describe your prisoner. Did you mention that you took him prisoner? I forget. No, we okay. no. I've describe been... this. Describe the one at the game. Uh, we do. Yep, he's a pisky, <laughs> so you know. <laughs> I would make sure that in the descriptions that pisky was included. Yes, absolutely. So that I'd know for variations. Yes. Yes, it is this one. It was four weeks ago. I can't believe it. We thought he was lying. There are many ways to lie. <sighs> Thank you. Think nothing of it. You are performing a service. We hope that if we can track down this limousine, the people inside, that we'll be able to stop these assaults on the city. It is an assault. This is a coordinated attack. It would appear that you are the ones who will seek out why these are occurring. And dole out punishment as appropriate. She doesn't say anything about that. If we need reinforcements. She's (laughs) just very proud of herself. I said something. I'm talking about war. It's not. Oh, God. She's like, Steve. (laughs) The other head's full of sugar Sugar cookies. cookies. Um, uh, they are da bomb. <laughs> now I want sugar yeah. cookies. They are, they are now cool enough that you can have them. Uh, clearly, they have been made with just the right ratio of shortening, <sighs> sugar, and the icing is just just so. Uh, the piping on the details for the uh, the Smith and Wesson <laughs> revolver. <laughs> Look, we can see that there's. There's two of them in the chamber, but not... That's a really impressive sugar cookie. Boggins, yo. Uh, apparently. Apparently. Not all scientists. <laughs> I'm I'm up on the science of baking. If we require reinforcements, well, we may return. I hope it doesn't come to that, though. I would, I would advise against an open conflict... If you do not know the status or the size of your enemy's forces, do not risk a frontal assault. Intelligence is still key. (laughs) Exactly. Uh We're hoping to obtain (laughs) as much as we can. Intelligence one, red cap. No, no, we average out pretty well. Don't worry. The team averages out pretty well. (laughs) Intelligence is key. Where do we land on that bell curve? (laughs) Uh, You. We're planning on doing everything that we can to make sure that this stops. I'm sure whoever is doing this believes themselves to be in the right. Maybe they're just trying to accumulate power. I don't know. We don't know yet. But they're not right to do this. There is a difference between doing something because it will be popular and doing something because it is right. Do not believe that you understand the intentions or motivations of your enemy until you have that confirmed. Of course. However, their clandestine attitude and the damage that they are causing would lead us to believe that they are in fact villainous and must be stopped. And punished. Quietly. Punishment What sort of punishment do you believe would be appropriate? Have you been empowered to deliver this punishment? (laughs) No one needs to empower me. I see someone doing bad shit, being an asshole. I'm gonna punch him in his 
fucking face, ma'am. So you are a vigilante? I don't think that far ahead. (laughs) (laughs) All right. That's a fair answer. I react to things as I see fit. As a vigilante would, yeah. (laughs) Look, I fuck things up. I don't see what's the problem. (laughs) What's wrong with my methods? Um... So you have not been given any brevet promotions. You have not been assigned the task of executioner. You are simply accepting it. Our freeholder has empowered us to solve this issue. She did not use the term by any means necessary, but I truly believe that Lady Genry would want us to solve this in any way possible. And you? I have a meeting with the mayor tomorrow. I guess I'll be tackling the mortal angle of this problem. What is your position on the idea of punishment here? More interested in solving the problem. You must understand that you are still subject to the rule of law, even though you have been advised to engage with the enemy. If I wanted the nose to be broken, I can make sure it happens. Very well. Now... Is there anything else that I can do to assist you in this matter? I guess if you notice the same people waiting here to to go in the limo, maybe you could let us know. The pattern would indicate that they will be returning tomorrow, sundown. You may as well be here. Yes. And it would be good if you pretend not to know us. We will be in disguise. Uh, We'll be in disguise. She arches one very (laughs) delicate eyebrow, but if you believe that is important. So important. I'm not sure if Mikkel works through intuition, and I believe she's intuiting that it would be important. That it would be important God. to be in disguise. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Mikkel works through intuition is the most polite way that I've ever heard someone say, like, she does. She's a fucking idiot. <laughs> uh, you know, diplomacy. Uh, Meanwhile, she's like, this is the best plan I've ever made. Diplomacy is the better part of it. Oh God, you know, we'll put step towards victory, right? Oh, oh, real? Oh, that's the kind of disguise we're talking about. Low key, her idea is hide behind a potted plant, find the person who's going to go outside, and then stuff burble into a costume that looks like them and Incredible. send them out. So You want me to be your of spy? Of course. Well, you're the only one who can play poker. Incredible. No, get me invited. Just the plot of Casino Royale. Get me invited to this tournament. How? I don't know, Liz. I'm not MI5. <laughs> <laughs> MI6, whatever. Who cares? You need to be Felix. <laughs> exactly. CIA. I'm bleeding chips. I'm not going to last much longer. Fuck, so I, good. I know. It's so I good. I love that it's movie. so good. I think Casino Royale is my favorite Bond film. It Overall, might be mine too. Honestly, I think so too. I mean, it's like there's a few that I'm like, oh, that's classic. Like the some of the very <laughs> early Bond ones, but like it's so good. Right? Oh, it's just like yeah, it's mm. it's got a very nice tone, atmosphere. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's built well. It's interesting because it also makes a poker game actually interesting. Yes, exciting. Yeah, compared to like. Well, first of all, I'm glad that they updated it because it used to be Baccarat. And Baccarat is in a lot of Bond films, but I'm I'm vamping because I'm waiting for Kate to come back. Nice. Uh, but like Baccarat's just like nine. Bonk. Like, oh boy. Shoot on, gentlemen. I don't know. Like, what? I don't even know what's yeah. going on. Did you, you must, well, you watched the films again recently. I, we, Kate and I watched all the Bond films. There are quite a few, I think. You're right, from the Sean Connery era specifically that have Baccarat. Lots like, of them, scenes, even beyond. Even the Bond ones. Wild. Beyond yeah. the Bond. Uh, they good. sort of stopped with Baccarat uh, around the Pierce Brosnan, maybe sure. the Timothy Dalton era. I mean, nobody nobody plays. Nobody plays Baccarat anymore, no. Well, at least no one in the big movie going audience. Right, right, right. They wouldn't know how to play. Yeah. No, that's a good update. Americans aren't like clamoring for that chemin de fer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. I don't. Th- did Timothy Dalton play Baccarat? I don't think he did. I don't even know if 
Oh no, he must have. The last baccarat was golden eye. Oh, okay. Long. The last baccarat. Golden eye. Ben it. Ben it. <laughs> so good. Um, so yes, the po the point is that Burble just needs to. So rather than any sort of other plan, you're going to basically <laughs> be like, "Hey, kid, are you getting in that limo?" Yes. Yeah, so, and we'll then you're put, put a put tracking in device in you, so we'll find you. <laughs> you heard that, right? Listen in me. <laughs> well, of course, we don't want it found. I don't. Put it in my shoe. That's shoes. actually a very interesting question. If you put like an Apple <laughs> AirTag in a condom and tied it up and then swallowed it, would it still work? Yeah. There's only one way to find out. Moisture would be the issue, right? Oh. Well, I think I think <laughs> passing why it you... later on would be the issue. <laughs> well, hopefully, you've been it's done getting chance. tracked by that boy. Chance I'm willing to take. An apple air tank's like that big. Oh. <laughs> Come on, Burble. You can do it. <laughs> ah. Do it for sport. You don't even like sports. <laughs> that condom breaks. You're going to get real sick. <laughs> <laughs> God, maybe not as bad as if, like, you know, like a, a solid 100 grams of pure, uncut. Cocaine? <laughs> Cocaine pops. Good lord. <laughs> pops. Uh, that'd, be, that'd be much worse. Oh, that, no. That's just something that I cannot. No, no, no. Not at all. Uh, but now you have me curious as to whether that would work. But like, I, I, think it, you, I think it's just too big. I think that if you swallow that whole, like, you would have a lot of problems. Yeah. When it lift, left the stomach. Somebody look up the realistic applications oh, of swallowing an air tag I would wrapped do that in a, in a condom. Nice little incognito tab there, friends. You can do that. No? I guess you could hide it up your butt. They don't call me Benjamin Buttbull for nothing. <laughs> well, see, you gave now? yourself that nickname. I don't think anybody did that. I don't think any of us called you Benjamin <laughs> Buttbull. Now, that's all we're going to call you. That's I all mean, we're gonna call you. I that's hate basically. It. I hate it so much. What have I done to myself? Oh God. Buttbull and the Violence Twins. <laughs> oh my God. Now that's a good. Now that's a show. Uh, we're back. Hello. Am I witnessing <laughs> Benjamin getting it on? No, no. I, we were talking about how to track me by we're sticking put a tracking device in. Perfect. Him. But, but it's okay. We're good. We're, we were we were vamping. <laughs> yeah, this was all OOC uh, hypotheticals. Uh, yeah, we, we basically vamped. Sorry. Mm -hmm. We were just saying how Casino Royale is probably my favorite Bond film, honestly. I mean, that's got to be a, a repeat quote. I can't believe that's the first time I've I'm said sure this. that's come up before, yeah. Quote search, but. <laughs> Control um, F. <laughs> but. Um. Now I'm going to be tempted to look. Anyway, Miss Bond. Right away. Do you have any reason to suspect why this mysterious person might be using Lut as the site of their pickups? Have you heard anything about that? We're well within the center of a building. We do not monitor the outside. At the same time, it would be a reasonable place to allow any of the Cathane to gather. Makes sense. Ugh. So it's a risk we're willing to take, is what I'm hearing. Yikes. That is up to you. This was your quest. You have been given it. It is for you to see it through. And we will. I trust that we can do this. I'm just happy to know there's someone else even on our side. Hmm. Thanks, Grouper Bench. Good to know. <laughs> All right. That's also probably why having drinks placed uh, might, uh, might disrupt the signal. It's like, why are you always giving yourself butt nicknames? I blame you, Liz. No. <laughs> I don't think this uh, is my when doing. When we get to Fancy Corner, just so that we can continue with the rest of this game, because I, I want to get to the meeting with the mayor. Oh, uh, yeah. When we get to the rest of it, don't worry, I have every quote that mentions but. Yay! Oh, excellent! There must be quite a few. It's going to be a big fancy corner. 
I believe that's all then, Miss Bond. Thank you for your time looking back, confirming this. We'll be here tomorrow. Very well. Mm. <laughs> mm. Uh, I mean, any remaining sugar cookies are taken with us, but I feel like they're all gone. And uh, yeah, I, I duck gone. out. So how many did you actually manage to score as a percentage? Did you take fully 50% of them or did you two. take more? Total, I think I also took two or three. So then two, you total. basically have eaten like tw- like 18 cookies. Yeah. All right. That tracks. Okay. Wow. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> All right. So you head out. Mm-hmm. Do you have anything else that you want to accomplish? Maybe we just like really quickly without stopping oh. swing by the place where the people were said to wait just so like we're what familiar people? with Oh, for the limo? For the limo. Just so we're familiar with it, and then we can just, like, keep yeah. on going. Yeah, I think, I mean, if it's kind of basically out the front steps or whatever, right? Mm-hmm. Um, but, that, yes, it'd be good to Close familiarize ourselves. I think there's parking available at the yeah. museum, yeah, yeah. so. Oh, okay, okay. Outside there. Okay. Um, that's a good idea. Mikkel, are you serious that we're going to disguise ourselves? I just... They don't know what to look for. Well, I don't think it's a great idea to just go up to the satyr and be like, hey, my buddy here wants to participate in your poker game. Oh, well, that wasn't what I was thinking at all. Oh, because that was my plan B. Oh, yeah, okay. well, we, this what is good you, why we're discussing what it. What do you think we should do? Follow the limo. See where they go. Oh, I have two drive. Follow that limo. Nicole's <laughs> gonna drive? <laughs> Have it up. I guess we'll nice. need a vehicle, but uh, we'll figure that out. I'm on it. I'm sure one of them <laughs> just take out like a coat hanger. <laughs> Car jack someone like, oh my god, Mickle. Uh, those were the days. Yep, yep. GTA 3. <laughs> Car stuff. Oh god, ridiculous. <laughs> um, well, I, I suppose we'll have to discuss this in a bit more detail, but I think any of these plans could work. I just think disguise, it shouldn't be off the table because if you end up infiltrating it later, you don't want to be recognized. No, I agree. I'm hoping to receive an invite the old fashioned way, directly. Perhaps a mailed invitation. Oh yes, they'll hear of your famous poker exploits and be begging you to join. They will, they will. Yeah, we're uh, walking and talking, I assume. At this yes, point. I think so we're headed back. Yeah, it's an Aaron Sorkin shot. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. I'm <laughs> running behind. I'm running backwards, holding a camera on. Someone's a holding your camera. cables. Yeah, <laughs> everyone's holding the cables, and the three of you are just walking forward. Perfectly. Nice. So, we could just have you show up, and whoever was supposed to be there. Uh, no, I think I think the plan is we let them get the person they taken, want, and then we follow the limo. Oh. In a you Volkswagen sound dis- Beetle, you sound disappointed. but in disguises. Volkswagen Beetle, you sound disappointed, Dad. You sound disappointed. No, I'm good. Okay. I mean, I think that would be, it would certainly be dramatic. I just don't know if it's a good idea. Perhaps they're expecting. Yeah, a specific person. Exactly. So we should find out from um, Kona's uh, how the meeting happened. Exactly. He, he just got bagged right which he theoretically didn't he theoretically expected to be picked up so how that he did get bagged in the limo because he said he didn't know where he went that's yeah. right but he was invited to take to take yeah. part right, right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. he was good. invited because he was desperate and then when he lost exactly and then when he lost he was forced to take this deal essentially you're never forced i suppose you always Maybe it seemed like he had no other options at the at the time. Mm-hmm. And it does make sense from a certain perspective. Doing this doesn't seem to actively harm anybody. Maybe that was his thought. Can I do a quick check? How are you, Kate, in terms of, of awakeness? I'm conscious. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to give you the offer that maybe... Yeah. Would like you, you mentioned it? that like you want to get the mayor meeting done, and I'm not. Okay. gonna be coherent for the mayor meeting so like that's not... why i got up and used the bathroom they were running the scene debt regardless of how i am today has nothing to fucking contribute to this whole side quest about the pisky i'm happy to be here so that we haven't split quest. the party but like 
I have nothing to contribute to this, which is great for me right now, but trying to rush us into something that I have to drive is like not going to happen. All right, so let's not do that today. Yeah. Full bands. Um, as we're walking, I'm going to just like whoosh, glance over to Mikkel again. What? Do you know what's in the case? No. Do you want to know? Fuck yeah. Okay, wait till we get back to the freehold. Can I try to open it without knowing the combination? Yeah, no. Wait, what case are you referring to? Uh, He's I've, been carrying I've picked up a sketchy I, I was, little case. Yeah, I was. It's not little. <laughs> I've been carrying around a case that I picked up at my home. Okay, that. Yeah, uh, right. Yes. Sorry, I just I was like, are you talking like to, about the safes that are against the like? <laughs> people would notice if you were just like taking a safe away from the. Also, how jacked are you? What's I, your strength rating? You want to know what my strength rating is? It's one oh, of these. No. <laughs> so not basically is the answer to that question. Is the a large part of a safe security is not necessarily it's the complexity of its lock. It's just really fucking heavy. Yeah, you can't mm -hmm. you can't take it away, so you have to deal with it where it is, yeah. right? Yeah, and you can't cut into it just because it's so thick. Mm -hmm. Can't cut because can't it's say thick. the word thick. Around. No, I know. Specifically I know. around Kate and Elizabeth, Hello. I cannot say thick <laughs> without also hearing a. <laughs> 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 Every time, and I kind of love it. Yeah, Kate's like definitely like tired, which is understandable. I mean, we knew what you were doing coming in, but then there's still just this part of her brain, like lizard part of her brain, being <laughs> like, "I heard something." <laughs> <laughs> Actually, the sound a lizard makes, anyways. That I, I have that too. I'll have that if somebody starts mentioning things like D and D is the best way to role play. Like, it doesn't matter how tired I am, I'll just be like, "What? <laughs> <laughs> what?" <laughs> Yay, exactly. Tate! Crosshair. Yeah, I want to look in your box. All right. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> so where are you headed? Back to the freehold. Because at I this think... point, we're going to play it the rest of the day. Cool. Once the day is over, we're going to stop the session. Party yet? Yeah. I think basically a couple things I think we should confirm with Kona's or we should just have a brief sort of moment with Kona's. And I want to show up what's in my big box. Let's do box first. Incredible. This is you. Why are you looking at me? No, I'm just... John, what's in I'm Scott's box? I'm just looking box? at you. No, no, I know. Oh, I'm going sorry. down to the crease. Uh, okay. um, so you're now in the crease. <laughs> Wait Fantastic. A uh, crease? <laughs> sitting box? in the crease is uh, Themis. She is luxuriating on the couch. Uh, she's flicking through a magazine. The magazine contains various different uh, skateboard styles. Oh, hi, Themis. Did we miss anything? You're always missing something. This place is a mile a minute. <laughs> Last time I checked, uh, Bo and Crow were working out. No, he didn't miss anything. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, just just wanted to make sure. S disappointment is pretty palpable, but that's okay. We're making some headway on the on the mission. Excellent. To save sports. Debt, hey. you're all right. Yes. I mean, remember she was the referee. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it, okay. It yep. Different. Thank you. Yeah, I'm good. How about you? <sighs> Nothing. T can't solve. I mean, that, that game went sideways. It was starting to get pretty rough, yeah. We always knew that it was basically laying a trap. Yep. I'm sorry that you had to pay for it with your body, but at the same time, it's what you do every night you're on the ice, so... It's where you're coming from my teammates, that's all. Are you a shot blocker? I mean, you're like, so you're, you're a forward, so you're not often yeah. in that position, but like, are you the kind of person who would just like dive down on the ice so that if somebody took a shot, you would just take it on the body instead of letting the goalie deal with it? Let's say yes for now. That sounds nice. right. Yeah. That's okay. cool. Get the grit. Get the reinforced part of the skate around the ankles. Mm -hmm. uh, getting hit in the ankles with a puck. <laughs> Uh, that would be it. horrible. Yeah. yeah. So people who often dive in front of the puck, they get that part of the skate reinforced because that's so cool. Sorry, I'm just imagining like, you know, uh, a hockey, like a pickup hockey game, and someone's just taping up their ankles to like mm -hmm. try to protect themselves or something. Oh, I've been there. 
Yeah. Well, I didn't. I was the one taping. I always played goalie. Mm. Uh, Your position. Except I never could afford like good equipment. <laughs> <laughs> uh oh. Anyway, <laughs> I, I'm glad to hear it. You're making headway. I'm glad to hear that. Is there anything else that I need to be aware of? I don't think so. Just glad that you're not hurt. Am I interrupting? Do you need me to go somewhere else? Oh, no, not at all. I was just going to... No, is your thing secret? No, Mikkel was just very curious about this. And like, <laughs> so he's going to like, you know... Put in the combination. Put in the combination and like, ka-chunk, ka-chunk, ka There's three latches on it as well. Is it a good it combination or is it something lame like one, one two, two, three, three four, four, five? I'm not going to say. I'm going to I'm going to say it's a series of seemingly random digits that have an importance to Burble. That's what I'm going to say. Great. It's the Fibonacci sequence. It's his birthday. <laughs> no, no, it's the Fibonacci sequence. Five <laughs> I got it right. Did I get it right? Yeah, that's pretty good. Honestly. <laughs> one, one, two, yeah, three, yeah, five. Yeah. God damn it. <laughs> Bastard. Eight. What? It's, goal, it's part of the golden ratio. Okay. That's, that's enough. <laughs> <laughs> it's enough verbal I'm just so pleased that I got it <laughs> anyway um, and out of this case he takes uh, what can only sort of be described as a series of large glass tubes there's metal kind of protrusions on the end that look like hooks almost that kind of jut out of the front I'm just going to keep describing I'm, I'm going to describe but you tell this me is all, this is, this is, this all, is all like tell me if it's off the table the first 36 digits of pi. Perfect. Um, there's a, a large reinforced handle made of wood. And then these tubes inside are kind of buzzing with what looks like sort of electricity. You know those like the Museum of Science and Tech or whatever, those large static yeah. balls that have like mm. a fake kind of explosion of fake electricity in them. You know what I mean? It's that like. It's, he, it's plasma. Yeah, that's that. Thank you. Plasma. I had one. It used to be here somewhere. Oh, cool. You lost the plasma ball? Uh, it kind of didn't really do much. Oh, no. <laughs> it was USB powered. It was... Oh, it, oh, cool. It looks cool, though. Um, so he takes it out. It's like, it's quite large for Burble, but like he can hold it relatively well. This is the thunder cannon. I have a thunder cannon, too, but it's in my nightstand. <laughs> oh, boom, boom. There we go. Uh, <laughs> nice. Verbal also goes for a fist bump. <laughs> like a bit later, just like get, I want to be included. <laughs> yeah, I want to be included in this too. That that was uh, actually pretty good, and I feel like honestly, it's probably not as exciting as what Themis was just saying. So, what part do you fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Or with a hook. <laughs> oh, <God>. <laughs> <laughs> I just like point at the front, I guess. I don't know. Like, good lord. It's it's not for sexual gratification, Mikkel. It's a weapon. Which is why I thought you would be interested in it. What does it do? <laughs> I'm gonna Here we go. Thunder. Um I'm going to use yeah, I'm going to spend a point of glamour. What? Oh, yes. I'm going to spend a point of glamour to activate the <coughs> thunder cannon. So, <laughs> it's fantastic. Um, so, I feel like there's a very loud, you know, like, <gasps> like as it charges up, you know, it's like, it's almost too much. <coughs> the plasma inside arcs back and forward, piston like, perhaps. Perhaps it is a little sexual now. <laughs> I guess that's where we're at. Yay! I mean, I'm just looking at you, man. The claws at the front, these little hooks, I guess, shoot open, and uh, one of the balls from the ball pit <gasps> is snatched out and then, bam, slammed across through the air into the opposite wall. So have you ever, like, these balls are not terribly structurally sound. They're kind of, that's how they're designed. <laughs> yeah. So it kind of gets against the wall, and it just kind of goes, <laughs> just... Squish. Cracks, yeah. And then. <laughs> wow. <Whoa. laughs> right? Oh. Can oh. you do that with my sandwich? Let me make another one. I'm just holding it <laughs> while it's vibrating. Can you make it a little faster? <laughs> this is just leading forward. She's fascinated. Like her eyes keep going back and forth across stacks, the piston. Stacks, stacks, yeah. Stacks. 
Okay, stand, uh, get out of my hand! Stand back! <laughs> Shoot it out of my hand! Mickle, no. I'm not gonna do that. Fuck. <laughs> I feel like I might kill Mickle. <laughs> yeah. You, you specifically can't do that. Pull open one of the drawers yeah. and you stick a skewer through it. You cannot pull something out of somebody's hands with it. Right. Yeah. That would. Yes, we did discuss this. Game this balance. Thing. Right. <laughs> um, it is placed delicately on the counter. So it's once more pulsating with now banana and peanut butter. <laughs> With the, the right apple pulsating oh, yeah. man, peanut butter sandwich. Whoa, whoa. Now, whoa. with the right application of glamour, I can do some maneuvering, but mainly it's intended to really frighten off the competition. I mean, you know, any enemies we may encounter. Like this, Waka Cha! And then just like, <laughs> bam! So again, it I feel like it levitates up into the air. Oh my god. It gets sucked in towards the gun, and then as Burble turns back towards the ball pit, it fucking <laughs> launches into the wall, where it presumably explodes in a mass of peanut butter and banana. Brown just, is. Yeah! There's a little speed gauge on the back, um, and it, it flashes like I don't know, whatever, 150 kilometers an hour or something. Holy like I don't know, whatever, shit. like some appropriate <laughs> number of uh, like amount of speed. I know how our car is gonna follow that limo now. <laughs> no. Oh, <laughs> uh, maybe. Anyway, I'll, I'll and then I, it sort of powers down, makes like a powering down sound, and it places it back into the oh. case. Can I admit something to you guys? That was the first time you ever used it. Well, I've tested it. You have had okay. sex with it before. No. But when you hold it, you feel like truly you have come into your own. Yeah, that's part of it. I just wanted to admit that I really wanted to show it off. Oh, that's, that's okay. it. Darling, it's so cool. Darling, all men are like that. What do you mean? <laughs> all men just want to show it off. Well, n- it's all right to be proud of something. Not all men oh, can make verbal. this. Oh, fuck. God, there's got to be a better way to say that. That's true. It's pretty it cool. Is, it is very cool. Thank I'm you, just Venus. joking. I know. I know. I thought your joke was pretty good, too, actually, if I'm being honest. It was fucking awesome, Burble. Awesome. Well, hopefully we'll never get into a situation where we need to use it. Are you kidding? We're going to use that every chance we get now. Well... You can imagine what might happen if that picks up something that then makes contact with a skull. Clunk, clunk, clunk as he closes it up. Can you imagine? You could have used that at the game. You could have waited until the puck hit Death's stick, maybe in her own defensive end, and just moved the puck <laughs> directly into the goal. <laughs> um, well, I'm not big on all of the Through rules. Through the goalie. Of- <laughs> How long does it take to charge up? couple of seconds yeah not 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 too long but like i have to i have to be wielding it in order to use it exactly uh, i have to be wielding it (laughs) poor play well congratulations thanks herbal's like pleased as punch you know what i think i think this is actually a good point (laughs) <laughs> Yeeting a sandwich into the wall. Clean up the there, is, there is another reason. Mm-hmm. Um, Food is I'm here. Gonna, I'm going to pass this over, oh, and then we're going to end the session because of a specific thing. Oh, so. No! All right. Yay! To Kung Fu Fenders. It's okay. I have a plan. Excellent. But it does mean that we're going to get to the outro. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, <coughs> so... First things first, I'm going to ask, what did you learn? Oh, and we're going to start with you, Scott. Um, I think I... Uh, nope, that's that's not an answer to that question. I think I learned that Burble is really... Um, he's looking for validation, uh, probably because that, you know, because he feels maybe a bit inadequate being at an athletics-focused freehold and when he's not an athlete. So he's looking for some validation for his for his successes. That's what I learned. Cool. Let's. Um, I Deal. learned that uh, when when like I'm I'm starting to put together where Mickle's like personal training experience comes into play and like what really pisses her off. 
It, but like Bad that nutrition, she's, apparently. That she's serious about. She's like, you can't just you can't just half ass fitness. I guess that's the whole ass. Fitness. You got a you whole, ass, whole ass, fitness. ass fitness. I guess. <laughs> um had an answer and it's gone. Uh I learned that loot is super cool and uh I look forward to finding more excuses to go back. Yeah. yeah. Because you want to hang out with Wumble Tums. And buzz cut. I honestly, well, yeah, we'll, just we'll, we'll come on to that, I think. But yeah, very cool stuff. <coughs> All right, Scott, you want to highlight a play here? Uh, yeah, I do. Um, I want to highlight. Um, uh, well, I want to highlight. Debt inter- Ooh, sorry, everyone. I wanted to highlight Debt's interaction with Bo. Um, in specific, like I know it was sort of comedic banter, but I just, I really enjoyed Debt. Uh, Possibly teasing Bo a little bit, possibly playing into how silly he is, but mostly just giving no fucks and trying to provoke him into a fight when he's clearly not that kind of guy. Just, you know, I I enjoyed it. I I enjoyed the playful antagonistic relationship. Uh, I appreciated Mikkel's um, interactions with the people at loot um just as much as it was a new a new place for us um meeting people that were on the you know people that are theoretically experienced fighters experienced combatants stuff like that not dialing back not showing i mean not that i guess red caps are often intimidated but there was like i didn't sense a big check to mickle step sort of thing mickle was still I'm going to tag on to that slightly. Mm -hmm. I liked that, but I also liked that Mikkel didn't immediately come in and be like, well, I'm not going to give any fucks about anything, and I'm going to just run my mouth and make everyone pissed at me, uh, thus making the trip to loot like 900 times more complicated. Because I like the fact that she will push people, but that she's not just like in a constant state of, I have to aggravate everything all the time. That's... That's very good to hear. Thank you, because I'm really but like, struggling to walk the line. But what Kate said, I think, is very appropriate. She is still definitely Mickle, but she's also not like still Mickle. And the only way to express her being Mickle is to be an active problem. Yeah. Cool. Truth. Thanks, folks. Um, I love the Thunder Cannons intro. I love how enthusiastic Burble is about it. Um, I love the description of it. I just, I just love how happy it makes him and how excited he was to show it off. It was Great. the hook. It was the. <clears throat> it was yep. so good. I can see it in my mind, and that mm-hmm. makes me very happy. <laughs> uh, no, I love that all. St highlight loot all of all of loot. But also tools. <laughs> but yeah, I would, I would, I would lump him in with loot because it's it was part of there. our field trip. Yeah, <laughs> it's a very evocative place. Yeah. Uh, and the the setting was already, I mean, the setting has been, you know, was proposed to us earlier. So like, you know, I've, I read the description of it and so on, but it's still, the people in it also evoke part of the sense of place as well. Scott, yeah. were you the kind of person who in, in class would be like, I did the homework? Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you got me. I appreciate it. No, Thank for you. sure. I mean, I read it, but you know. <laughs> uh, so we have... 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 15. We have under 20 comments that specifically reference butts. Oh, that's not too bad. Uh, and a lot of them, because the search, will also include things like butter. Mm. Uh, we say butter a lot? Uh, well, we've said it at least once. <laughs> um, I like a biscuit, something with flour and sugar and butter. Oh. Uh, that was Tepid Crest Exultant. Oh. I like biscuits. Uh, he'll turn and show me his butthole. Thank you very much. I said that while playing Star Tropics. Um, the crosshair comes up several times. In this <laughs> yeah, list. Sure. Surprise, surprise. Uh, one of the, which specifically was, uh, where was it? I saw it here. Uh, check the butt, mm-hmm. which he said during Changeling. Um, JT apparently is in here that says, you use the High King as a butt puppet. Amazing. Uh, Ripley's just cleaning her butt back there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Aragorn twice, two quotes in a row. Fay are butt, uh, KOI, or sorry, call, not KOI. Fine. Cold Dragon. Cold Dragon. Yeah. Cold Dragon. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. And then 
immediately afterwards, Velvet is also butt. <laughs> uh, Velvet! It looks like Scott wants to keep butt stuff hidden from his loved ones. Mm. Yeah. Uh, it's just a butt on top of a butt. <laughs> Kate said as recently as uh, June, butt is legs. <laughs> yes, butt is legs. We did have that discussion, I remember. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, on top of the legs. Dom is down here with in the butt oh. while playing Smash Brothers. Okay. Uh, don't touch him on the butt, man, was Elizabeth Neal. Nice. Okay. Oh, believe me, the butt has eyes. It knows when it's being watched. That was me. What? <laughs> Spooky. Uh, and specifically in terms of this, Kate, where did you stash your gem? Liz, up my butt, I guess. <laughs> yep. It sounds about right. Uh, tracks. So. Uh, feels like an exalted brief history of butt. Mm hmm. RPG Clinic. Always educational, always a good time. What are we, we looking at coming up this week? Line. Uh, you can join me over on twitch.tv slash Biff the Boss Tuesdays at 1800. Chief Inspector Stryker is wearing his disco flare pants and being very inappropriate with things uh, in Disco Elysium. Been having a good time. Join us for more of this. Wednesday, I imagine that I'll be continuing Kingdom Hearts. Uh, <clears throat> people seem to be enjoying it. Yay! I'll keep playing it as long as people seem to be enjoying it. It is still the first Kingdom Hearts, which is the roughest in terms of gameplay so far. I don't know. There's a lot of them, but we'll see. <laughs> Uh, oh. And Thursday we might be doing more of the same while we figure out what we're going to put on this. <laughs> oh, pardon me on oh, this channel. He's dead. Uh, Friday is punchy. Oh. Um, what form is it going to take exactly? We're not sure, but we will let you know because there might be a twist to it. A twist. A twist. What a twist, um, which may also then affect Saturday streams. Potentially. Exactly. There may or may not be a Saturday stream. We will keep you posted. Although again, frankly, I. I just think we should have guests, but we'll figure it out. Yeah, yeah, we'll see yeah. If it works. Yeah. Uh, and then that also affects potential Saturday evening streams. So stay tuned to the Discord for. <laughs> That's great, Charles Darwin. We did not finish Mass Effect <laughs> Kung Fu Fenris. We did not. We did not. No, no, but twists. Yes, perhaps. twists. Uh, but of course, you can check the Discord for all of that fancy information. Sunday? Sunday, we're back for this. Yeah. 1700 right here for more changeling river wild <laughs> uh, I love you. thanks for tuning in thanks for your support obviously we really appreciate it special thanks of course to Kung Fu Fenris and the Crosshair for being here uh, and holding down the fort uh, it's it's really appreciated that you can always count on our audience to be super cool yeah uh nfl if you're still here i know you just posted uh we have uh I, I will send you what we discussed um i don't think that it's urgent that we take care of it right away but uh we will definitely have something neat uh in store for you hopefully next sunday Thanks, and finally uh just go and i'm going to steal something from a podcast that i listen to um take care of yourself and if you can take care of someone else too Oh, yeah, that's nice. Yeah, we're gonna take care of each other after this stream. Yeah, we are. No, no further context <laughs> oh required. My God. We're going in this direction, folks. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. Bye.